Hello, Samantha. Happy Saturday. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. My name is Arx underscore Hydra. We're playing Dark Souls 3 today. We are very short ways into the catacombs of Karthus, and I'm looking forward to getting back to smacking them bones. And uh, what happened to the catacombs of Karthus so far? There was a giant rolling ball of skeletons. I remember that much. That was weird. Oh yeah, we got invaded. <laughs> we got invaded. Did I die at the end of last stream? I usually stop after a death. I might not be embered anymore. Anywho, maybe that's an invasion heavy area. Maybe we'll get invaded again. I don't know. I won last time with the help of two friends, but you know, we still won. It still counts. All right, we'll get to Dark Souls 3, though. First, we need to say hello, settle in, play Game Duel, and get used to being on camera and all that. I hope you're having a fantastic weekend. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I hope uh, you've been good since last I saw you, and it's been a little while since there was no YouTube stream last weekend. There will also be no YouTube stream next weekend because the same reason, basically. I'm once again taking a long weekend away in Maine. I didn't plan them, like, almost back-to-back, it's that next weekend, we're gonna hang out with my brother-in-law's extended family. It's uh, the first time our side of the family has invited them over. And so, you know, like, I gotta be home for that. We're gonna have a big potluck uh, celebration, you know, chit-chat, it's gonna be great. Uh, I could use some recommendations on things that would be good to make for a potluck. Um, and then last weekend, after I'd scheduled next weekend, last weekend, one of my friends who I keep in touch with, but I haven't seen him in a couple of years, and he's like one of my best buds I met in college. He uh, was like, by the way, I'm going to be in Maine. Uh, could, could, are you going to be around? Or, you know what? So I scheduled another weekend in Maine. This weekend, to slightly make up, we're doing today, bonus stream, and I will be live tomorrow at the usual time, uh, the same time, but tomorrow. So you get two streams this weekend to kind of make up for it. Anyway, how have you been? It's been so long. What's up, Muriel? What's up, Seventh Elo? What's up, Blake Johnson? What's up, Billy Bob? What's up, uh, Moores? How are you all doing? It's so good to see you. Hey, Mart, it's good to see you. What's up, Elden Ring Enthusiast 2? Oh, I'm so sorry you didn't make it in time to get Elden Ring Enthusiast 1. But 2 is impressive, you know? That's on the podium. Well done. What's up, Bilfton? What's up, Zachary? What's up, Arch Sick? It's good to see you. Hey, Evan. What's up, Deepwater? Eric, hey, Batadar. What's up, HQ, 8QH? It's a palindrome. I love palindromes. I didn't realize that at first. Hey, Bard, it's good to see you. What's up, Shane? Hey, Subject Shake. What's up, Isols Games? What's up, Frida Fuzz and Malfu? Happy Saturday. Let's go, let's go, baby. Yo, pizza party. So this is the premiere of an edited video, right? No, I am live right now. But if you like edited video, what a good opportunity to mention that I have two YouTube channels for anyone who doesn't know. The other is called RX Hydro Highlights. You can either search for it or go to youtube.com slash at RX Hydro Highlights. And over there, uh, I posted a highlights video of Tears of the Kingdom today. I also posted a bonus video. I try to do one a week and I can't always manage that. Editing takes so much time, but I found extra time. I posted Sekiro. A playthrough I did two years ago, so I had long hair. This was during lockdown. Just a warning, I had long hair at the time. I posted a first highlights video of Sekiro, and I'm going to try to keep up on that as well. So the goal is every Saturday, a highlights video. That'll probably be Tears of the Kingdom for a while, but other things might get mixed in. And then as I'm able midweek, I want to get through Sekiro and then some other games. If you want an edited video, that's over there. But here we are doing a live. My channels are weirdly organized, I admit. This is the shortest content, this channel here, shorts and the longest content, live videos plus VODs of my live videos from Twitch, and then the other one's all in the middle, the edited, it's... But that's the way it worked out. There was a reason at one point. It just looks weird in retrospect. Glad I joined this live. Happy weekend. Hi, Hydra. Hydra, uh, hello. Whoop, whoop. Good to see everybody. What bosses have you beaten? The last boss that we beat was the, uh, uh, the Abyss, what were they called? Walkers? They're not Abyss Walkers, are they? Holy shit, why can't I remember their name? They were like an hour of the last stream. I know that was two weeks ago, but it took me an hour, almost on the dot, I think. Within minutes of... <laughs> fuck, what are they called? Watchers, not walkers. How's it going, Hydro? 
Project Gouther, thank you so much for the $5. That is very generous. I appreciate it immensely. It's going very well, thank you. I've had a good day. It's largely been working on content stuff, but I enjoy doing that. And I know a lot of you enjoy it, so thank you so much for, uh, you know, your attention and time. It makes it worth it making it. It's been a long time making content things, but I enjoy it, so it's been excellent. Excellent. Never played Dark Souls, but I loved Elden Ring. That was my first foray into the From Software experience, and I loved it. I also love your Elden Ring shorts. Oh, thank you. I'm so glad you enjoyed them. Uh, and I'm glad you loved Elden Ring. There is a big difference between Elden Ring and their other games. The heart of the gameplay is certainly the same or quite similar, but like the way you progress through games and the content of them, there's a big difference. But if you loved Elden Ring, I would highly recommend, like add the other like Dark Souls games, um, even Sekiro. Sekiro is quite different, okay? You don't get to choose a build. No one plays Sekiro as like a magic build, okay? It's quite different. But add them to like your wish list so you know when they go on sale and consider trying them out. I think they're well worth your time. So great to see you live again. Hey there, love your shorts. Thank you so much, Eric. I'm glad you enjoy them. Happy Saturday, hope you're doing well. Oh look, it's the handsome streamer. Stop it. I have a big enough ego, stop. Finally pushed past Gyobu slash Butterfly hot take. This is a great game, not a Souls game. That's not the hottest take, but you're right. I think most people counted a Souls game, so you're probably still in the minority. It feels moment to moment, like literally just the control of your character feels quite a bit like it, but there are massive differences. Massive differences. Just finished your Bloodborne playthrough, first time live. It's good to see you, Shane. I hope you enjoyed the Bloodborne playthrough. A lot of the vowels went funny in those words, but I think you understood me. Thank you for watching. How you doing, man? Very good. How are you doing, Isols? Good evening. What was that about a potluck? I'm going to a potluck next weekend. So, no stream next weekend. I'm going to be here tomorrow on my usual time. Plus, I'm doing today as a bonus to slightly make up for it. And this coming week, I will be on Twitch. Usually I'm on Twitch Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday at 6, but I'll be on Twitch just Tuesday, Wednesday, because Thursday morning I fly out for that weekend. Yeah. But I could use recommendations of good dishes to make for a potluck. I think we're going to have some quiches my mom's making. I think she asked people to bring, you know, salads and a lot of some basics. I know someone's making strawberry shortcakes. Um, fuck, dude. Someone suggested, last time I asked... Mac and cheese. That's a good crowd pleaser. I'd have to think carefully about how I make it because, like, this is going to be an afternoon of hanging out and chatting, and uh, I'd want a mac and cheese that isn't completely awful when it's congealed. I don't know cheese as well enough to decide <laughs> what should go into it. Maybe I shouldn't do that. Not for a first try. Hope y'all having a great day night. Good to see you, Varnatham. Hope you're doing well. So hype for this is the other for the spicy sites. Oh, actually, that reminds me. Uh, there's a short that just went live on this channel from Tears of the Kingdom, and I typed out my most censored short because of the most things in it that I cut out and bleeped that I mosaiced over. It's, it's like seven or eight words and images, but it's the mo and it's pretty light joke still, but you know. I don't know if people are watching these at work sometimes or in public otherwise. Uh, and it got tagged for limited ad revenue, you know, in, in YouTube's automated system. And sometimes that happens accidentally and you can be like, could you please review this? I'm pretty sure it's fine. You know, the automated, I think they made a mistake. I think I'll just let that one go. That's fine. That's probably accurate. Even if it's all censored and as a joke, bear. Holy shit, it just jumped down. Hello, everybody. I didn't realize my um, chat had stopped scrolling. Hi. How was your week? It was good. You're in the catacombs that I am. What's up, Jaeger? Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. The long hair is beautiful. I love it. You're very kind. There's a small chance it comes back at some point. I recently learned slightly how to actually take care of hair. And now I'm curious what it would be like if I had long hair again. No plans, but possibly. Loving Sekiro definitely doesn't feel souls-like. Finally past Gyobu. Why is Monk? Oh, I know what you're referring to. Nice shirt, thank you so much. This one has a beer-wielding, um, Beats by Dre, it looks like, wearing sloth riding an alpaca. I think they're all on, is this one on lasagna? No, they're just on a pink cloud that looks like cotton candy. Maybe it is cotton candy. So you know, a toned down tame image, just to chill everyone out for stream. 
Haven't finished Dark Souls 3 Part 5 yet. Two times speeding through. Keep talking, Hydro. On my first Dark Souls 3 playthrough, just beat Aldrich last night. G fucking G. I remember Aldrich being hard. There's only one thing I do remember about Aldrich, though, and I had forgotten it until I was editing... I can't remember what. Oh, I think, yeah, when I was editing the final Elden Ring highlight video for my other channel, I mentioned an attack Aldrich does, so that reminded me of it. Now I'm not looking forward to Aldrich, but... I don't remember more than that. We'll see, I'll get reminded soon enough. Hopefully there's still a ways off. Speaking of shorts, do you have any fun shorts in addition to shirts? No, not really. I focused basically on waist up for the stream. I do have one pair of TOS shorts. They're not fun in like, they're not colorful and wild like the shirts are, but uh, for my fifth anniversary stream over on Twitch, I did a VR stream and I set my camera up so you could see my you know, whole body bouncing around. And a friend a while before that had recommended these like cat leggings. So I was like, fuck it, perfect timing. I'll get the cat leggings. I got them, I put them on, I looked in the mirror, I immediately went, oh, I think this breaks TOS, these leggings. And I bought a pair of shorts, short shorts, just to, you know. So they're just like black shorts, but funny backstory. Currently going through my first Sekiro playthrough and you're stuck on Ishin, helping people with the later boss as of right now in DS3. Have you played Bloodborne? I played it twice, three times, twice. I've beaten it twice. A couple other characters have gotten to varying degrees. There is VODs of my entire second full playthrough, the second time I actually beat the game. On this channel, they're just under the live tab, not the videos tab, because, hello? Syntax, thank you so much for the $10. That's very generous. I appreciate that immensely. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Yeah, they're under the live tab because they were streamed here, not uploaded here. Just, you know, YouTube, anyway. Ooh, pulled pork's not a bad idea. What's up, G-Rizzle? I like pulled pork. Shepherd's pie, okay. Baked bacon map? B map? Mac. Good fucking call. Funeral potatoes. Cheese potatoes casserole. Are they, like, supposed to be good for a f to take to a funeral because they're, like, comfort foods? Or are they supposed to clog your heart and kill you and lead to a funeral? What are they called? But thank you, Muriel. That sounds delicious. Bring something that can stay out in room temp, exactly my main concern. Like cold cuts and some type of rolls bread. We are doing cold cut platters, I think we're just buying a couple of them. Um, my mom's doing a lot of this on her own, so she's buying a number of parts to save herself effort, which is totally understandable. So uh, I'll help her lay those out nicely, but yeah, we are getting cold cuts. Just washes that sloth on your shirt as a sloth and an alpaca or a llama or... Can anyone visually tell the difference between an alpaca and a llama and tell me which that is? I assume it's an alpaca. Take that as a yes. BRB, go into the spice. Can't wait for Carthusian catacombs. This will be fun. Remember taking forever in areas in the first try? The monk in Sekiro is definitely Souls-like. Sure, it looks like something I would have photoshopped in high school during class in the best way. I photoshopped a lot of dumb stuff. Favorite game of all time? Uh, you know, depending on my mood. Well, let me give a couple. Let me cheat and give a couple. Uh, I truly believe Breath of the Wild has a claim to be the greatest game of all time. And sometimes I feel like nothing more than that. I've not beat Tears of the Kingdom. I'm currently streaming it on Twitch. Maybe it will be better, but I'm withholding, you know, a judgment until I've seen the whole game. So sometimes it's that. More often, Bloodborne, Burnout 3 Takedown, Outer Wilds. Those three, probably. Bloodborne, Burnout 3, Takedown, Outer Wilds. Outer Wilds most often is on top. I can't wait to play, uh, I'm sorry, make videos of Outer Wilds. It's gonna take some time, but holy shit, what a game. If you've never played Outer Wilds, by the way, the whole thing is a puzzle. Don't go watch my VODs. If I put out the highlight videos, don't watch them. Try and like find a review and try getting a sense if, you've, if you'd enjoy the game, because you, you, you can't play it after watching it. If you get what I mean. TOS like Star Trek, like Terms of Service. Like I was trying not to get banned during that stream. Baked beans. Aldrich is honestly easy as long as you use a shield for the arrows. My first live. What's up to home? Good to see you. Hope you're doing well, friend. What was your first FromSoft game? Demon Souls. The original Demon Souls, not the remake. I did not beat it. I beat two bosses and got to a third, I think, the big giant knight guy. Um, and I was like, well, this is hard. I'll come back to this. 
and I never did. <laughs> um, Dark Souls 1 is the first one I actually beat. But it took me until Dark Souls 3 was out. Like, there was a long break. I got Demon Souls when it came out. Didn't play any of them again until Dark Souls 3 was out. And then I did Dark Souls 1, 2, 3, Bloodborne, whatever, you know? Llama have longer faces and ears, more akin to a camel. Alpacas have shorter snouts and have more sheep-like wool that's curly. Okay, that's probably... I see some curliness there. This is probably an alpaca. Alpacas are smaller, pretty much it. Star Ocean 2. I played a Star Ocean game. I didn't follow it. I got a couple hours in and I was like, what the... F are, those are the ones with Cosmos in them, right? Or one of them does? There's like two series I always confuse, but I think Star Ocean I played once on PS2. What's up, Totally Human? I guess now pack it to the fluffiness. You have the same headset. Hi, Hydro. I didn't know you streamed on YouTube. I do. People on YouTube have been super kind and enjoyed my material, and, you know, so I figured I should do a couple days over here. Usually it's just Sunday, but we're doing a bonus day this week. All right, I've talked for a little while. We're going to play some Game Duel before we go live. This is a fun guessing game we can all do together. In it, we need to guess what game cover this is. We have six guesses. We'll see more of the image if we get it wrong as we go along to help us along. Um, our only extra rule is if you 100% know the answer to this, don't say immediately. I will get to you if we get down to one guess remaining. I don't like losing. But give people a chance to throw out guesses, have a little fun, stuff like that. Anything less than 100% certainty, go ahead and guess. And if you are 100% certain and cannot guess by the rule, you can go ahead and be smug. Be like, I know this game. I fucking know this game inside and out. I could never forget this. Be as smug as you like. Okay? Cool. This is not very much info. <laughs> um... What's the cold game from Capcom? Lost Planet? This doesn't look like Lost Planet. I was just trying to think of something cold and snowy. No clue. Never been able to catch you live? I'm so glad to see you right now, Phoenix. I hope you're having a fantastic Saturday, friend. Must come and visit our gamer season in Riyadh. Uh, you made love Elden Ring? I don't completely understand. I made love to Elden Ring with the way I played it. I helped you to love Elden Ring. I'm going to guess you enjoyed the videos, though, so thank you. <laughs> Just throwing guest. Goat Simulator guaranteed. Let's start with Goat Simulator for the hell of it, then, because I do not have a good guess. Goat Simulator. More like concrete than ice. You might be very right. Goat Simulator 1. Guess. It's not Goat Simulator 1. And we've got more of the same revealed. Could it be Evil Within? Doesn't Evil Within 1 have a cover with, like, that's mostly white with, like, some face stretching against... But I don't remember this stuff down here. Thoughts? Hey, Polly, good to see you. Made you love it. Okay, I got you. I got you. Shirt looks awesome. Very party. Thank you. It's perfect for Johnny Party Seed, right? Good to see you. Happy Saturday. Frozen. Evil Within 2. I'll try Evil Within 2. Evil Within 2. It's not that. Some kind of like wing thing? I mean, not an actual wing, but maybe of that shape? Kind of logo? What the hell? Based on the pixelization, this shape looks like it could be mirrored, you know? I mean, it's got very little actual contrast, but it looks like that could be a complete V shape, maybe? Looks kind of techy, mirror's edge. I remember the Mirror's Edge 1 cover. I'm like 85% sure. I don't think it's Mirror's Edge 1, but it could be Catalyst. Maybe. Hockey game? Would that have... Yeah, it actually really could. I was going to say, such a textured cover, but they could do like, NHL 2012 is grittier than the previous entry. The hits are harder. The goals are slap shottier. Um, I may not be equipped with all the terminology to write an ad for one, but you get what I mean. It may be a FIFA game. Is that the Witcher logo? I don't... I think that's always in like silver metallic -y color. Batman? Oh, holy shit. I, th I bet you're right. Wait, 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 this is ringing a bell. One of the... Duh, doesn't one of the Arkham games use this sort of thing? Is it Origins? Doesn't one of them? I don't have a huge amount of confidence, but like... I swear to God, you're reminding me of something. Doesn't one of them? 
been trying to finish Dark Souls 3 before getting my hands on Elden Ring, but uh, being you play it, or seeing you play it makes me uh, want right now to play it so damn bad. Origins took place in winter? Let's try Origins. It's not Origins. This thing is indeed um, mirrored. I am so lost. Not Batman. What's up, Brad? Good to see you. Looks like an ear to me. It's not fucking Arkham Knight. I really thought it was darker. Usually these aren't this hard. Or at least we haven't had as much trouble with these. Kind of looks like a sail or a statue. I think it's Hunter Call of the Wild. I'm not sure that's the name. Arkham Knight, maybe. Looks like an angel. It does a bit. It's got wings, so it's not uh, My Little Pony. Maybe Ears of a Fox. I don't know this game franchise. Last of Us 2 kind of looks like the Firefly logo. Monster Hunter. It's very hard. <sighs> not an Arkham game. All right, let's see a little bit more of this. I'm going to say Last of Us 2. Hopefully we're right, but if not, we'll see a little more. We are next. God, I feel like I've seen this, but I don't have any actual guess. We have two guesses remaining, Samantha. Huh. What are the odds this is? Um. Well, I sound foolish if I say this. Is this the original Prey? Is that what you're saying, Brad? Is this the original Prey where you play as a Native American abducted by aliens? Prey. Now there's only one listed, but I believe I saw a patch note that when a game has a remake by the same name or something like that, uh, a guess counts as both. Good shit. Good shit! That was fucking hard. I kind of want to get this game and play it sometime, but it's like not on storefronts and things. It's it's hard to get your hands on. It's interesting. Not amazing, but my brother played it and enjoyed it. It's an interesting game if you're unaware of Prey's history. This is not the, like, aliens on a space station game that came out in 2017 or whatever. This is 2006. Yeah. That's a very different thing. Good shit. Okay, we got one more artwork game. This is simply not a cover. This is any other piece of artwork. And then we have guess. We're doing a long intro today, but I just love these guessing games. Please forgive me. We will get to Dark Souls 3. But I love these guessing games. Thoughts? That looks like a Gears of War weapon to me. I'm going to guess this is Gears of War Tactics. Thoughts? Gears of War 3. I'll try 3. Gears of War... Or two? You said three first, I'm going three. Good shit. All right, we got through that rapidly. Now, we do the hard one, Samantha. Someone name a game from the late 2000s, and then I will explain to you how this works. Name any game from the late 2000s. Anything at all. <laughs> Halo 3, you got it. Halo 3. So... Just like previously, we are trying to guess a game. But in this one, when we guess, based on many parameters, we are told whether we are correct, partially correct, or wrong. Red means wrong. So, the game we're looking for, if I look over at Developer Publisher, the game we're looking for was not devved by Bungie or published by Microsoft. Beyond that perspective, uh, the game we're looking for does not use first person, all right? We get a little more info on release here. The arrow means the game we're looking for came out before 2007. Cool. If any of these were absolutely correct, they would be green. We only have yellows, which mean partially correct. Let me explain partially correct just to be clear here. Partially correct is useful in certain instances. Like here, the genre shooter is partially correct, which means the game we're looking for is a shooter, but it's also more. This is not green for wholly correct because we're missing more correct genres that should be listed here. Um, this is harder to use over in platforms. Partially correct here means at least one of these is correct, but some of them may be wrong, some may be missing, or both. So, that's a bit harder. We good? We're good. A shooter, Dead Space. I'll try Dead Space. Dead Space 1, so we get an old one. Dead Space 1 came out after Halo 3. 
Okay, that was not super helpful. Shit. <laughs> well, we're looking for a game that has single player and other modes. If that helps anyone. I could have sworn that Halo 3 was newer than... It doesn't matter. <sighs> we need an old shooter to help us narrow that. Oh, hey, we did get a couple useful things. The game we're looking for is not science fiction, not horror, not survival. Oh, and Halo was partially correct with sci-fi and warfare, and we know sci-fi is incorrect. So the game we're looking for is warfare. Which is, you know, a generic category, but... Hmm. Call of Duty 1. How old is that? Is that like 2004? It would be useful. I kind of want to go further back, but it would be useful. Hmm. Also, that's for... Uh, 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 oh, we ruled out third person as well. I didn't even notice that. The game we're looking for is War Shooter, but also more. And it's not first or third person. Okay. Interesting. Okay. All right. Huh. XCOM. Do they have the old XCOMs? We do not have the old XCOMs, so I think all the new XCOMs are too new. Gears of War is third person. And sci-fi, I would imagine. Klonoa? We're looking for a game that's a shooter, and I know you throw shit in Klonoa, but I doubt that counts as shooter. Civ probably doesn't count as shooter, Diablo 3 doesn't count as shooter, and it's too new. We need something older than 2007. Command and Conquer. That's not gonna be a shooter. What is a third person, what, uh, not third person. Most likely would be like side scrolling or bird's eye view. Shooter like Blackthorn, the old Blizzard Super Nintendo game. And I think it was on Genesis too. Um, oh, there's like a Bitmap Brothers one on Amiga. I only know because I watched my friend Tino. Follow him at twitch.tv slash badweed. That's B-A-D-W-I-I-D. Plays a lot of wonderful retro games. I watched him play it, but I forget what it is. Chaos Machine or something? Metal Gear 1. Hmm. That's a good age, too. I'll try Metal Gear... So, uh... The, you mean the... I, I, you mean the original, not solid. Yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> the original Metal Gear was, came out the same year I was born? I thought it was, like, early 90s. Holy shit. <laughs> okay. Well, the game we're looking for is newer than 87, and it's not stealth. Wow. All right. I was going to try Metal Gear Solid next, but if it's not stealth, it's not Metal Gear Solid. Would Valkyria Chronicles count? Isn't Valkyria Chronicles newer than 2008? Or do I have the wrong idea? Witcher 1, not a shooter. Half-Life, first person. How obscure can these games be in the guess of the game? They're not terribly obscure, but it will... I, it's pulling from a list. When you see me type, if it's not on the list, I can't guess it. So I'm happy to try obscure things because I'll learn very quickly whether or not we can, we can guess that. GTA. Is not going to be Warfare, is it? Fuck it, I'll try it. Let's try the original uh, GTA. Because I think it's a good age to split the range we have. Okay. Between 1997 and 2007. Oh my god, and it's not isometric. We are looking for a side-scroller, probably. Probably not VR. The other possibilities in perspective are things like VR, uh, I think visual novel, auditory. We're probably looking for a side-scrolling shooter with warfare themes, has multiplayer contra? But we need it to be newer than 97, which contra came out since 97. Metal slug, which metal slug came out since 97. Broforce, Broforce is newer than 2007, isn't it? Someone wanna guess metal slug? Someone who may know the years somewhat better than me? Which Metal Slug is best to guess between 97 and 2007? Are they, do they all fall between that, or...? Metroid? Not sci-fi? 
It's not bad guess apart from not sci-fi, yeah. No notion of yours? Me fucking neither. The original came out in 96, two or three, let's do three. Ooh. We have the game modes exactly right. Metal Slug is comedy? I mean, I guess. Yeah, okay. The game we're looking for has single player, multiplayer, and co-op mode. Side view perspective. We should probably take a clue. It uses up one of our guesses, but it gives us a correct answer in one category we've not gotten a correct answer in. Metal Slug 1. We don't have the correct saga, so it's not going to be any Metal Slug game. Worms is a good idea? Worms is a good idea. I kind of want to try Worms before I do anything else. Worms. Oh wait, Worms is comedy. Oh wait, no, comedy is correct. Sorry, I'm stupid. We are looking for a Worms game! We're looking for a Worms game! How many Worms games are there? Oh, we've won! There are fewer Worms games on the list than we can guess. Armageddon? Everyone cool with Armageddon? Good shit, Samantha. Good shit. I'm going for Armageddon. Hell yes. Oh, hell yes. No game engine data is fun. 1999, here we are. Worms Armageddon, which came out on Nintendo 64, PC, PlayStation, PS3, Dreamcast, and PSP. It was a shooter platform strategy. Comedy Warfare 1999 with single player, multiplayer, and co-op. Holy shit. Info, uh, Infogrames published and developed, Imagineer published, Russobit M published, THQ published, Sold Out Sales and Marketing published, Team 17 published, Micro Pro Software uh, published, Team 17 developed, Acer TWP published. Okay, side view and from the Worms saga. Nice, nice. Okay, Samantha, let's get to Dark Souls 3. We are winners. But just before we go, let me say, if you'd like to play this yourself, there are new puzzles every day, as well as endless modes. You can find them at GameDole, that name up there, dot WTF, G-A-M-E-D-L-E -E dot W-T-F. You know, it's like Wordle. Free new game every day. Enjoyable. Now then, get this out of the way. Pop myself up here. That was a good long intro, but we made it. We're good. Let me find Dark Souls now. Boom. And give this a second to start up. Still starting on my screen as well. Perfect. So, we are going back to the Karthus Catacombs where we got invaded last time, which was a lot of fun. Um, but we won. We showed them what we had in us and in the two people that we summoned to help us. But we won, and that's the important thing. That's the important thing. World's longest intro. Ready to crush some bones? Dark Souls 3, the game that made me break my controller. Took you only half an hour. Fart Souls. Be prepared to be blasted by Dark Souls music in the intro. The only game that's ever made me break anything was... Dragon Age Origins. I broke my headset, and I didn't intend to. I didn't totally lose control, but I took my headset off and I tossed it towards my bed, and it didn't quite reach the bed, so it broke on the ground. Uh, what am I... Yo, right, we switched to using Cestus. That was probably a bad decision, but here we are. Go punch some bones. Okay, game volume. Does look okay. Let's get super frustrated. You almost broke your chair while playing Dark Souls 2 today in frustration or accidentally? How? You gotta stay down, bud. You gonna try and get up? You gotta stay down. The glowing eyes are what to look for, I remember. Two-hand the Cestus and hit L1. I seem to be two-handing it. Oh yeah, we've already done that. It's good shit. Yo, Elden Ring weapon. There's someone at the end of this, yes? Oh Christ, they're bigger than normal. They turn invisible? Wasn't aware you could do that. Oh, 
thought you were gonna fall. Can't even deal with people circling around. What a fool! Hell yes, Large Titanite Shard. What made you decide on uh, that word as a safe word? I don't think there was a specific reason other than I don't have cause to say it otherwise. I certainly don't remember... I mean, I don't like buy pomegranates in my groceries, so I hadn't had one that day or anything like that. I think it was random. The only thing I can tell you is I specifically avoided the word pineapple because I have taken improv classes. And you find out very quickly while doing improv that when you ask people for a suggestion to get a scene started, everybody thinks of the word pineapple. It's shockingly common. I guess it's like the first wacky thing that comes to most people's minds. Pineapples are kind of wacky. Anywho. I knew one improv team that would ask for a suggestion and tell people anything but pineapple. I knew another that did not have that warning, but whenever they got a suggestion of pineapple, they would go, no, next. Which is a bit confrontational, but usually got a laugh. Bloodboard made you break your TV. About to make a long ass road trip for my birthday. Got to binge listen to your Elden Ring playthrough to keep me entertained. I hope it works for you. Keep your eyes on the road. Keep your focus on the road, but I hope it helps pass the time. Happy Saturday. Drive safe. Tip to make sure skeletons stay dead, kill him twice. I appreciate the impulse, but no hints, tips, tricks, or guidance. Unless I say the keyword. The keyword is pomegranates. The reason we have a keyword is I will very often ask questions aloud, but I'm just speaking aloud. I don't actually want answers. I'm sorry. I know it's confusing, but I can't like stop doing it. Did I just get parried by someone with no head and one arm? That's worse than Melania. She only had one arm. That's worse than Melania. She had a head. Holy shit. Happened twice. Okay, anywho. What was that in the middle of saying? Oh, yeah. Just, you know, talking a lot, I'll ask questions, but I don't actually mean it. So we have a keyword, so you know when I mean it. So, just for example, uh, pomegranates. What games have you been playing recently? Huh, Samantha? I've been playing Koa and the Five Pirates of Mara. Is that the full title? Koa and the Five Pirates? It's like a speedrunning platforming game. Didn't know what to expect. Quite love it. I'm playing Dave the Diver, which is fucking excellent. Alright, neither of you had shiny eyes, so I should be... <laughs> you really tossed yourself in the air. Hey, big guy. Aw, oh, shit, there's two. Hang on. How do you feel about flame? You do not love it. I mean, this isn't amazing, but you don't love it. Fuck me! <laughs> We're getting back in the swing of things. I know this isn't the most impressive retreating combat. But what the hell, dude? Why did I leave myself with the Cestus equipped? I've never played one of these games with the Cestus. Core Keepers? Oh, I had a friend who was addicted to that. I wonder if he's still playing. Pokemon Emerald lately, one of the ones I've never played. Think about starting Sekiro, but not sure. Would it be your first playthrough, or have you played before? I loved Sekiro. It is very different to their other games, the, the, the Souls-like games. Share some things with them, but I love it. Is Johnny getting ready to go to Yarnum? Oh yeah, he's about ready for it. He's not quite as skinny as most Yarnum denizens are. They need to fucking have a sandwich. All right, last time we were here, um, what's her name? An Henri was down in there. Henri and Horace. Henri was down in there. We did go beyond. We went down this way. I think we're looking for our souls, and they should be down this way. 
What I really need to know is where the uh, where the where the you are. Never mind my souls. Fucking hell, dude. Let me make some progress today. Come on. It's early to be asking that question, but I feel weirdly out of practice, so I'm starting to worry. Let me make some progress. Who the hell is Samantha? You are. I say Samantha instead of chat. There's no special reason for that, other than I got weirdly tired of saying the word chat. But you're Samantha. Hi, Samantha. Happy Saturday, Samantha. Love AoE 2. Oh, Age of Empires 2 Remastered? I played the original, never remastered, but good game. You're wacko, we are as well. How would you rank the difficulty on the FromSoft games? Um, hmm. All right, going by average difficulty, not peaks. Because, for example, I think Elden Ring probably has the highest peak of difficulty in like a single challenge. But on average, I think Elden Ring is probably second easiest. Going by average, Sekiro is the easiest, then Elden Ring. Oh, I'm gonna have trouble ordering the rest. Probably Bloodborne or this are the hardest. I don't have a lot of confidence in that answer, but that's my answer. Son of a bitch. Oh god, those two guys are going to be back. Fucking hell. Hello? Don't parry me. Don't parry me. Don't embarrass me. Will you play Baldur's Gate 3? I think it's likely I will. But I'm probably going to wait a while. Small chance I play it soon. Good chance I play it later. Small chance I don't play it. No decision made yet. I just wanted to hit the guy with the bow. I didn't want to get your attention. I should have let him be. Just gotten out of his sight. Dude, there's so much work to do in these catacombs if you die once and have to run back. So much work to do. Just joined? What's up, Leo? Good to see you. Cestus is just the cypher pata without any of the cool stuff. And I liked the cool stuff! Sekiro is the easiest. Sekiro relies mainly on timing. And, um, I know it doesn't look like it. And it's not impressive, my level of skill, but I do think timing is my strong suit. So I took to Sekiro faster than I took to, to, I think, of the skills you need to, did my controller just came unplugged? But it's being redetected now, I should be fine. Hang on, let me fix this a little bit. Play with it up here so the cord gets hit less. Of the skills needed to succeed in a Souls-like game, I do think timing is one of the ones I'm better at. So Sekiro is easier for me. Did you two call each other last night and decide on an attack? I'm trying to make it look like other people have embarrassed themselves in here. So that my embarrassment seems lesser. What skeleton retains a sense of shame? <laughs> Was that a response to something I've said because I've already forgotten, or was that, is that a riddle? I don't know what that is, but I fucking love that. As a question. You were supposed to stay. Interrupted. Thank god you have no poise at all. Sekiro is the easiest to learn how to play well, but the game is still hard as balls. Yeah. I, I'm not saying Sekiro is easy, generally. Just got here, what did I miss? You missed playing a lot of Game Duel. We only recently started uh, Dark Souls 3 for the day. And I definitely haven't died yet. It's going great. How are you? Okay, good double miss. Got him with the full combo there. Got any recommendations for what game I should play, Hydro? Hmm. Outer Wilds? Burnout 3, Bloodborne. We were talking favorite games earlier, and those are the ones I said. All right, the thing's coming up behind me, but I think I have time to get down here and off to the side. Yeah, we're good. You're not dead. That thing's coming back. I remember the basics here. There's a skeleton here. I remember some things. 
Oh, buddy, he's running. Why are you running? Do I have time to do this? Why did you run? I thought that thing exploded once I got in here. I just thought that was just a leap. Not that long range horse shit. Who's doing this? You are. Forgot about those attacks. Who's throwing these now? Oh, I didn't even see you. I know there's enemies beyond here that do that. I forgot there was one standing right there. Do you want to come over here and fight me? So I can s read one or two of Samantha's messages? Skeletal shame was a response to something you said. Delay takes its toll. Sorry, sometimes... Yeah, there's natural delay and then, you know, I look away. To play the game for a bit. The game gets in the way of this hanging out, you know? Don't know if skeletons retain shame. They hold on to their humorous parts, though. 10 out of 10. Exploded, you say? Maybe now? Sorry, that was a hint. I know it explodes. Or did last time. Yeah, it must have. I already got the item, by the way. That it drops. Stop throwing humanity at me. The uh, Palpatine move from the skeletons. Starting Calc 4 in the fall for my degree. Any tips? Ooh, uh... Huh. Wait, Calc 4? I think my university only had three levels of calculus. No, we kind of had four. Hang on. Calc 1 is like derivation and integration. Calc 2 was volume of solids, I believe, primarily. Calc 3, I may have these out of order, was related rates and stuff on that sort of level. What is Calc 4? Are you doing complex analysis? Which I did take, but was a course called Complex Analysis for me. I am also still trying to think of recommendations, and uh, I scraped through those classes. Partly because they were early in the morning, and I'm not a morning person. Where did you come from? A two part? I thought you didn't have those. Also, your fucking roll hurts. Cheating bastard. Stamina! I'm wasting a lot of resources just chewing through enemies I've definitely killed before. Just getting back to where I died last stream. God damn it. Way to double attack me like that. Woo! Dodge timing. 75 plus hours in Elden Ring, still not... Those are my footsteps, not one of the skeletons getting back up. I'm safe. I'm good. Kinda. I'm not completely safe. How far do you guys come around here? Oh shit. Oh, not that far. 75 plus hours in Elden Ring is still not fighting the Draconic Tree Sentinel to enter the capital. Pretty sure it's integral in vectors and stuff. Biochem major, don't ask me why I have to take them. That is odd. Okay. Um. Ooh, boy. You know, this isn't the strongest tip. I'm sorry, I don't have a really strong one. But integration is one of those things that there are a million ways to visualize it. So if you're not getting it immediately... Um, look up YouTube videos on it, because almost everyone who's made a video will probably have a different way of visualizing it, and there's got to be one or two that work better for you than the ones you've gotten in class. So, seek out other sources. There's a lot of variety in how you can keep those ideas in your head. 
the best thing that comes to mind for me. Now I was at 100 hours, I was trying to beat Radon, the Draconic Cree Sentinel. I saw the sign and it co-signed my tan. Come over here. Give me your jump. No, I was ready for jump. I thought that always led to leap. At least we're cleaning up on large Titanite shards now. They were hard to find for a while. Cave ahead. True? Be wary of hole. We are now beyond where I died last stream. What was that sound? Is that one of the wheel guys from Dark Souls 1? I hate them. My character never has, like, a car or anything. They've got their own transportation. I'm jealous. Also, they're not fun. Fuck. They're in this game, too? Not the bone wheels? Not the bone wheels. You have surprisingly good stamina? Do I? I've had a lot of fuck-ups with my stamina in this game. Assuming I still had someone I didn't. Things like that. Because I feel like, uh, what's it called? Elden Ring gives you so fucking much stamina. I don't remember if I spent a single level on stamina in Elden Ring. There's a bonfire! Thank you! Woo! Woo! Wheel boys! They're fun to watch. Would you ever play Inscription? I have! I loved Inscription. At some point, I'll make highlights of it, but I don't know how long that'll take. I do have clips of it, but I've got other things to make highlights of first. Can I check how much a level costs? More than what I have. We go on. I was going to go back if I could buy even one level and just, you know, save those souls because this has been a bad... Uh, is that where I came in? It is. There's the, the skeleton with the silly hat. I did not notice the bonfire on the other side of that grate. Fair enough. Google's gotten progressively worse as a search engine, I agree. Didn't Dark Souls 2 have a boss where you kill a big boy skeleton and an army of bone wheels appear? Maybe, I don't recall. Don't rush highlights, you have so much to do already. Consider an editor. You know, I actually, there is someone who got in touch and was like, Hey, I've been looking to practice some editing. I could, and I mean to get back to them. I need to get back to them. The problem is, I want to have them test on, like, just do a couple minutes. Not a lot. See what they make of my Bloodborne playthrough. But I only just found out... Mm. <laughs> I thought the first one I killed, this body here, was still alive for a second there. Ah! Come on, Hydra, you've been in New York City for more than a decade. You should know how to handle rats. When I stream on Twitch, I save a VOD now. I didn't used to, and then everyone asked for my Elden Ring VODs, and I only had a couple of them. Now I save all my VODs. I was not doing that on YouTube just because YouTube saves videos for the foreseeable future. That could change. Never trust platforms. But right now, they, they just save them with no limit. So, for the streams here, I wasn't saving them for a bit, and then I tried downloading the complete video of my first Bloodborne, and it only downloads at 720. I'm gonna stop looking away from the screen, and we can talk when I'm done playing the game in a couple hours, alright? That made my heart jump. Shit. Anyway, point is, I'm trying to find a way to get those, those videos off of YouTube in the full 1080. And then I can get back to the person and be like, yeah, if you're still interested. Show me what you can do at the start of this. Watched the first part of Sekiro earlier and got jump scared by the haircut. I can only apologize. And if you like it, um, watch my FF7 highlights video because there's more there. I saw you back there. Didn't realize I was... I didn't see you, though. Didn't realize I was near enough to get your attention.
I believe in Dark Souls 1, these guys can give you the bone wheel weapon at a very small chance. I hope that's the case here. That would be the only thing that makes up for this affront to decency. This including them, this war crime of an enemy. Jesus, you take no damage. Fire. Yeah, that's way better. That rat ain't making the rules anymore. Slime things are from this game too. Oh, did you see them in like Elden Ring first or something? Yes. They reuse a lot of assets. They reuse a lot of themes and... What did I just say? I'm serious now. No more interaction till the end. I'm not serious, fuck it. Let's just get our head eaten off several times. Yeah, they reuse a lot of stuff. And I'm not begrudging them. But they do. Solid shirt. What's up, Felony? Good to see you, friend. Hope you're doing well. Happy Saturday, friend. Fire. Felony, you want to start Jujutsu Kaisen tonight, or are you busy? No worries if you're busy. Just asking. Hope you're doing well. How do I get that thing to come down? I don't want them to drop on my head later when I've forgotten they're there. Fuck it. I'll just shoot you. It works as well. Why do they need to... You did come down. Oh. That was sweet of you, and you're gonna die the same way, but I appreciate it. Pretty sure Airdrie Avatar is the same base moveset as NPC Skeletons and Asylum Demons. Never played any other Souls games. Know they reuse some stuff in themes, but they're not the exact enemies. They do redo them visually almost always. Um, often they'll modify movesets. But, like... I meant it when I said I don't mind. Games are a huge, huge undertaking. Especially big games, but really any game, as long as the game's fun, I don't mind them reusing assets. In whole or in part. To be honest, I was actually gonna watch the FF7 video, but I might want to wait a bit to prepare myself. Fair. Made a new character in Dark Souls 3, want to try a strength build. Face turned into a grandma, so I remade the character and it's now a berserker grandma. Out of the corner of my eye, I thought that thing was still alive. Are there any more slimes here? Did I just hear one behind me? I thought the grinding was it for a second. Don't do it! The jump hurts?! Could have sworn I was gonna beat that thing to the punch, but it just bouncing on its toes hurts. I'm so down, hell yeah. All right, I'll message you later, or feel free to message me. You will see them waving from such great heights. Come down now, they'll say. That's what we're referencing, right? Jesus, how do you know when I'm not looking at the screen? How do they fucking know? Also, why haven't I just learned to look at the ceiling? Fall on my head once, shame on you. Fall on my head, like, almost four times, shame on me. It hurts really bad. I hate this whole hallway. The slimes, the wheels, the comments about the wheels. 10 out of 10 pun, but fuck, I hate this hallway. To be fair, if something covered in spikes jumped into you, it should hurt. Yeah, it's all right. It's just like at that point, why doesn't walking into it not hurt me? You know, because it would be annoying. Well, the bouncing's annoying too, but you're right. Feels like a fun nod to past games when you fight a new enemy, but then muscle memory kicks in. It does. This place seems like hell. I don't really have any memories at all of this location. But I'm not enjoying it this time. Can't tell you how I felt about it way back when, but I'm not enjoying it this time. For anyone who doesn't know, this is my second playthrough of Dark Souls 3. I have beaten the game before, but it was like six years ago, and I barely remember it. So we're calling this something sort of like an 80% first playthrough, you know? I, I don't know what to call it. Hope you're enjoying. Hey, bud. Please don't. You throw shit. I hate people who throw shit. Got him. Wow, is this Dark Souls? It is.
Okay, we cleared out this entire hallway, finally, at long last. This is... Oh, rock. <laughs> I thought that was, like, the interior of some giant monster's intestines that were connected to the catacombs. That just seemed believable, and why shouldn't it get worse? Okay. That's... that's not... I almost feel like caves will be better. But we have to save that like a little treat and finish this shitstorm first. Your brain suppressed this place, blocked out trauma, maybe. <laughs> Given how hard you blocked it out of your memory, it obviously wasn't a great first impression. Memory hold Dark Souls. Gotta say, it sure is dark. Souls. Three. Dempsey rolling and vibing. I kinda wanna kill that thing, because the last one gave me really good rewards. I don't know how safe it is to hit, especially with the Cestus. First things first, let's try shooting it when it comes to a halt here. I can't target it. Which makes me think it doesn't have a health bar, but I'm gonna try. Alright, I think I'm basically aimed. You gotta aim a little higher than you think when you're not targeted, as I recall. Alright then. Considering that has run me the fuck over, it seems awfully incorporeal. Hey. Oh, shit. I knew one of you fucking saw me. Come here. Forgot I wasn't dual wielding. You dickhead. Oh my god, I hate this place. We do have a bonfire, though. We're closer. Quick tip, you don't need to level vigor if you don't get hit. You're practically invincible. Interesting. Interesting thought. Elden Ring was my first Dark Souls game. Tried to play three, but it felt like I weighed 300 pounds and was moving through molasses. Doesn't it? Couldn't get used to it and quit after 10 hours. That is 100% fair. If you ever get the sense, so oh, you know, maybe I should give it another go, I'd recommend it. I quite enjoy this game, or the idea of it. I'm not I'm not jumping for joy right now. But that is absolutely fair. In comparison to Elden Ring. Oh, caves are bound to be pleasant and lovely. Is that already starting back? It is. So should I follow it? Is that safer? No, this is fucking safe. How did I get down here before? Without getting rolled over. Alright, I don't need to go down to the end and get that guy's attention. Let's grab these, and I don't need to go up top and get this guy's attention immediately. I... I got that guy's attention! <laughs> Hang on, I want to kill the rat first if I can. You have a two combo throwing thing? I've never seen that before. I don't think. Just enough stamina to pull that off. Okay. I was gonna say, we can go over here first. Bef before going up a floor. Can that rat fit in here? Have I killed myself if it can and it blocks me in? Seem to be okay. Hello. Hello. What's this pirate cave? Visions of dark spirit? This must be where like an invasion happens. I'm not embered though, so. But I can't go in there. We need to find a switch or maybe another way around there. Hydro, the ceiling! As I recall, there weren't any slimes over on this part. I think we're currently safe from slimes. I do like this game as well, usually just cosplay as hollows in this game in the past. You'll be surprised how useful a short spear and a broken sword can be in both PvP and uh, PvP. Considering playing all the Soulsboards games since I finished Elden Ring, not sure my corporeal form could handle it. This guy's dodge reminds me of the Black Knives. Can't you use the ball against those guys? I bet if you lead them into its path, yes, it will hit them. But both rats and that guy move around so much, I'm not sure how easy that would be, so... I don't want to rely on it. Why did I change targets? Because I did not pick to do that.
this fucking camera. Thank you. Okay. Okay. What now? There's probably still someone behind me. I think there's at least one skeleton still in front of me. <laughs> he fell the fuck apart immediately. Did you never believe someone was going to reach you? What I'm being remarkably aware of is these trips for traps, considering how much I'm not paying attention to. Like sealing slimes. Alright, bud. You coming back this way? Let's go ahead and fight. Let's fight. If you're one of these ones. Your eyes, Chloe. Are you going to get up after I kill you? I don't think your AI is made for you to come back up here. I'll give you a straight path. I'm giving you all the help I can, dude. Wait for it. Send him to hell! Fucking fist weapons being as slow as swords. Oh, man. This isn't awful. I'm just spending a lot of resources. A lot of potions getting through basic enemies. If this is all leading to a boss, I'm fucked. More stairs. No slimes. Grave Warden's Ashes! That's nice. Umbral Ash of the Grave Warden of the Catacombs of Carthus. With this, the Shrine Handmaid will prepare new items. The old man began as a squire, carrying his master's accoutrement. He ended his days a Grave Warden and carried them still. Well, okay. Is that career advancement? So it doesn't sound like it. Never seen a fist weapon do that much damage? Well, Johnny Party Seed knows how to party with any weapon. The ball stopped. You sure I'm not just too far away from it to hear it? Did it stop? Did it leave me a bone shard like the last one did? Is it Christmas morning and presents await me? Oh, there's a little crab. Dark gem! Just what I've always wanted! I don't know what that is. Maybe it's nice. I'm just trying to pretend, because, like, you know, it's a gift. I should. Oh, thank you! I never would have thought of this, but it's exactly what I needed. It's the perfect gift. I guess I'll put it on a shelf? No, that's for, um... Weapons, yeah? Oh, hey. Oh, okay. Cool. All right, so real quick. I've been on the other side over there, because I remember looking over from that area. I think I've been, I think I've been all the way through that sort of area, I think. I mean, there's no way over there from here anyway, is there? This over here just leads to a broken gap. Shit. <laughs> Leads to a broken gap. Yeah, okay, I've been ever on the other side. We can go ahead and go into the cave now. It's time for our reward. <laughs> we earned this. Dark gem is coal. The ball evolved into crab. Love you parasocially heading to work. Have a fantastic day at work. Love you parasocially as well. Hope it's an easy or a quick day or a contenting day, whatever makes a good day for you. We have a gem. We have a gem, little guy. Come here, lizard. Stay right in that wall. Praise carcinization. Fire gem. That's probably a little more interesting to us. Hello. I cannot target you. I would love to target you. Thank you. 
Love this community. Got to join the Discord sometime. Yeah, Samantha. If any of you like using Discord, we have a Discord where you are welcome to... to... like... Don't you dare crash on me. I'm gonna alt-tab and it should be fine, but... I'm too scared. This game doesn't like alt-tabbing for some reason on this computer. If you type exclamation point links, you can get a link to Discord among that. You're welcome to come chat. You're welcome to come just lurk if you prefer. Get absolutely punched. I hate how they can dodge out of that. Oh, but I didn't realize you can punch them out of invisibility. I had just been assuming they were invulnerable during that time. Were your eyes glowing? I think we're good. Oh, this is the other side of the thing, isn't it? It is. But I'm not embered, so I won't get invaded. Stop it. I won't get invaded. I kind of love how they pat their head. Like, we all good? It's all there? Perfect. You don't need your head. I've been parried by skeletons without a head. You just do whatever you like, skellies. Some of these bones are still shifting. But there's a bunch that look like they come from living enemies because they're, like, not on the ground. That haven't gotten up yet. Are they going to when I hit this? There's no Discord in those links? Fuck, sorry. Exclamation point Discord? I don't remember my own commands. Floatin' Bones, the scariest of skeletons. Floatin' Bones. The direction I was just in looks like progress, so let's come this way real quick to make sure I don't miss anything over here. Um, not jumping down there. Nothing down there. Suspended bridge is wearing thin. Well, yeah, but... Oh. Yeah, it's really tilting. Okay. They gonna give me a chance to cross this? I mean, it's death if I don't, right? Hey. Holy fuck! Okay, it's death if I don't cross at all. Please, 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 please. Hang, maybe I can... Will you get the fuck out of here? Get... No! Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. It's, it's reacting. Get down there with your friends. I better find a bonfire. That's very worrisome. Oh, hey, this goes back. Does it? No, it doesn't. Okay. Hmm? Oh, there's shit down there. And that looks like a ledge. Um, I, oh, yeah, let's go look for a bonfire in this direction first. Okay, let's... But that's a one-way jump. Oh, fuck, dude. Good job, Indiana. Full-on Lion King, that skeleton. Long live the bones. That was a fun moment. Check the roof. You handled that better than I did. Wait, the roof? The roof? The roof? The roof is even more skeletons. How is light coming through that? I don't see anything valuable in the roof. Maybe you meant up here, though. Also, I don't mind too much. It'll happen, but... No hints, tips, tricks, guidance. We are here to watch me fuck up, generally. Even reminders of just, like, UI and controls I've forgotten. Generally, no hints, tips, tricks, guidance, or reminders, unless I say the safe word. I still don't see a bonfire. I 
I'm terrified I'm gonna get into a cutscene just walking to this message, but I'm gonna try it. <laughs> it doesn't tell me anything. Uh, let's go look again at the drop. Having such a bad day in the catacombs, it feels like. Ooh, descend? Like a ladder? Oh, what a godsend! Now the Discord, welcome to the Discord. I hope you enjoy it there. Fuck the bank, Edward, or fuck the bank. Watched your first playthrough of Elden Ring. The interesting way you got through it made me play finally. So thank you, sir. Love your content. Romani or Romani? Please feel free to tell me how you prefer that pronounced. I will do my best to remember. Thank you so much for the five pounds. That is very generous. I appreciate that immensely. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you even more for just watching the content. I appreciate that. Glad you enjoyed. Hope you have a wonderful, wonderful time in Elden Ring, friend. Ha, huh? godsend. Well, I don't know what's down here, but it's saving me from going into that room. So I'm happy about it right now. Of the bridge, we made a ladder. We're so crafty. We're so crea- Oh, shit, dude! Where do I go? Where's, like, good for me? Fuck it. All right, I'm doing the door. There's gotta be a bonfire there, right? Come on. What does that Dono audio clip say? I never understood it. Uh... I'm trying to remember which it is. Is it the one that sounds like, fuck the bank I work for, fuck the bank, or is it a different one? Is it Office Submarine? Is it Welcome to Sends? Does anyone know? I, I actually legitimately can't remember what I use for alerts here on YouTube right now. I think it's a clip from a Kids in the Hall sketch with this guy going, fuck the bank I work for, fuck the b, -b, -b bank Um. It's a very weird sketch, but it's one of my favorites. Look it up on YouTube sometime. You could try running past the demon. That never works out well. Let's just do this. Oh no, someone will need to donate again. You can figure it out. You found me out. Didn't realize my strategies were so transparent. But you aren't going to jump to the fire demon thing? We'll see. Read message. Try arm. Try ring. Try ring. Oh, we picked up a ring I never looked at. That's an excuse to not touch anything or explore anything in here another second. Boosts rolling invincibility at the cost of defense. Let's read the entire thing. Ring worn by warriors of the Sand Kingdom, Karthus. Boosts rolling, yeah. The sword technique of Karthus allows for fluid movement with a curved sword. Masters of the technique are said to dazzle their opponents by moving as weightlessly as a grain of sand. They live for their high lord, Wolnir, conqueror of most kingdoms known to their people. I wish that had been a longer description. Okay, now we get to decide what to do here. Maybe an onion will appear again when you hit the demon. That was basically the same kind of demon as we fought with uh, Sigvard. I never remember which game has Sigvard and which has Sigmire. I think it's Sigvard in this. Can I interact with you? I can. That's upsetting. Can I interact with you? No. Alright, fuck it. I've, I've just been a coward. Let's do it. Whatever. What is this? Please don't be a boss. It's a boss. It's gonna be a boss. I don't think that's the Holy Grail. Jesus was a carpenter. <laughs> and just the whole skull motif wasn't his thing. We're only good at some of the Indiana Jones things. Hello? On a hill, some wall? I'm in a cave? I'd like that item first. 
grip. Oh shit! I thought it was gonna be important for this battle. Oh. Oh. Oh no. At least there's no debuff. Good, you only have a ton of health. Let's try fire next time I can. <laughs> Should be a second. Ah, slow. Let's try fire right to the face when I'm able. When I'm able. That did fucking nothing. Hit. Uh, it's melee. <laughs> Why wouldn't you have little friends? Why wouldn't you? You know? You're like some giant sea creature, right? You need these tiny little parasitic skeletons in order to clean yourself or something like that. You've probably got some whole ecology. Leave me alone. Get in his mouth and pick stuff out of his teeth or whatever it is you usually do. What is this? You already have shadow. No! You don't get light, too! Kinda of just relying on him to kill them, which luckily he does. Huh? Oh my god, the damage! Break his jewelry! He's vain! just break his sword? Fuck. And then overhead? Because I need that hand. Not overhead. This is the breath of pain bullshit. Wooly unprepared for this? Oh, it's High Lord Wolnir. I just read about you. <laughs> well, now I wish that ring had said more to prepare me, not just delay this. Bongo Bongo certainly looks different in this game. What are you doing? Oh, you're actually getting the sword out again. Is there much I can do to your sword arm while it's got the sword? I didn't watch those. Animation. My health. I was stuck under his hand there. Last heal. One heal left. Okay, each bracelet does indeed count. I was wondering if that wrist was done or if you get two since you had one remaining. Two bracelets, you know, to. Did you just get one shot? Look at our relative sizes! Statistically, look at them! I'm the winner! I kind of don't want to go back to the catacombs. <laughs> uh. Woo! The rare one shot. The rare. All right, do I get to keep this? I'm not drinking out of it. It'll go on a shelf with the dark gem I got earlier. What are you?
That's the mechanism for opening the door? I guess it's a security feature. That's a lot to ask your guests to do. It's I guess it's just a security feature. They don't want people coming in. Should have brought a gun though. This game doesn't really give you those options. GG, GG, first try, first try, GG. Never seen Wolnir grab a sword or summon skeletons before. You haven't? Am I supremely unlucky or does everyone else kill him away faster than that? What a neato fight. Hey Hydro, what's up? I don't have pants on. Good to see you, friend. When is he streaming next? I'll be back tomorrow, right here at 6 p.m., playing more. Usually I only stream Sundays here on YouTube, but um, I wasn't here last weekend and I won't be here next weekend. Sorry, I'm going to be in Maine visiting family and hanging out and stuff. So we're doing a bonus stream right now to make up for that a little bit. Happy Saturday. Hope you're all enjoying. Fighting the crab in Moana should be like that. What? Because you're breaking, oh, because cause they're vain? <laughs> I get the connection, I'm just, for a second I was like, is there a Moana game where you fight the crab? And I didn't remember their song and their whole focus. I'm so shiny, watch me sparkle like a sunken pirate wreck. Scrub the deck and make, anyway. I sing that to, my, to myself in the shower regularly. Please tell me Johnny Party Seed, self-proclaimed party king, can wear Wolnir's crown. Do we get that? Let's find a bonfire and go see what Wolnir gives. Yeah, Wolnir had a lot of bling. Don't say bling, Hydro. You're fucking 56. Anyway, let's go see. Do you do Twitch also? Yes. I streamed a uh, normal week would be Twitch, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. That's twitch.tv slash rx underscore hydro. And Sunday here on YouTube. That's a normal week. Do you remember that crab in the catacombs? It's slowly approaching you. Well, the bridge is out. All right, let's take a look at these items. Oh, the cup's still there. I didn't get that. But show me the soul real quick. Soul of the High Lord Wolnir, one of the twisted souls steeped in strength. Used to acquire all that, yeah, yeah. Lord Wolnir of Karthus sentenced countless souls to gruesome deaths, keen to outlive them all. All right, then. I'm serious. It has unlimited aggro range. It's chasing you to the ends of the earth. Even more interesting lore, Wolnir got his holy items from the gods of Lordran. Now I'll have that song stuck in my head again for hours. Sorry. Little Maui's having trouble with his look. You little semi-demi mini-god. What a terrible performance. Get the hook. Get it? You don't swing it like you used to, man. At least it's a good song. Weren't there bling crabs in Elden Ring too? Thank you, my good man. No worries. My prediction, Hydro won't see this, but if he does, he's going to be disappointed. You're thinking about your breathing and now have to control it manually. Those things rarely work on me. Nice try. You know which one never works? Is you're now aware of your inner monologue or whatever that one people says is. I, I play through conversations in my head that I'm expecting to happen or just hypotheticals. But I imagine them just sort of like spoken aloud and there's no interstitial like, then I'll say this, then they'll say this. I... How do I describe this? I'm not sure I can. I don't have an inner monologue most of the time. Or like I think some other people do. Oh, are we out of the catacombs? Gorgeous view ahead. Could this be magic or visions of sleep talk? Irithyll of the Boreal Valley. It is gorgeous. I'm trying not to think about what horrid things might be here. Let's just appreciate the beauty. It's the black goop chalice. Real quick, can I... What, is there a bonfire here first? Thank you. Touch. And just before I forget, I didn't actually walk up to the chalice. You can't interact with the chalice, can you? Can you? Can you, can you, can you? Oh, a bonfire appeared here too that I took. Okay. That wasn't here before the fight, right? No, I wouldn't have missed that. I mean, I could have, but. No one answered that. Yeah, okay, we can't take the cup, whatever. Let's go level up and see what we can get for Wolnir's soul. Like a movie and not a novel? Yeah, that's not a bad way to putting it. 
Yeah, a bit like that. By the way, if you read this, you realize your tongue is holding itself uncomfortably. I'm reading these a lot because they don't usually affect me or bother me that much. Maybe I shouldn't, because I know they bother other people. <laughs> you're, you're, I'm letting you get other people that might not have read them. I'm an accomplice. Mooney. Aurora Borealis. -y. Anyone watching on YouTube VR like I? Really? That's cool. What's your headset? I have an original Oculus Rift. It's not great. It's not bad. Not great. And I have a PSVR too. That's much better. Why are you obsessed with guns, Valak? What does a giant skeleton with no mouth or throat want with a chalice? No clue. Welcome home. I speak then. Uh, then level up. Then take no what was I working on? Oh, getting int to 20, I think. Because that makes my fire even better. Hell yes. Uh, real quick, real quick though. Hello, Just, Ashley. is there, we got a new pyromancy tome. We got a new pyromancy tome. Is there anything from that I want to buy? We picked this up. Oh, and this was pyromancy. We have two, I forgot. And I didn't forget this. We've got ashes too. Ryder, thank you so much for the five dollars. I appreciate that immensely. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's very generous. Thank you so much. Happy Saturday. Good to see you, friend. Have you done the DLC? Yes, I did all the DLC back when I beat this the first time. But uh, for anyone who didn't hear me a short time ago, I, I have beaten this game and all the DLC, but it was like five and a half, six years ago, and my memory's shit. So this, this is a bit like a first playthrough, but it's not actually one. I would not claim that. Pyromancy Tome from Karthus, containing pyromancies crafted for battle. Karthus pyromancies developed in isolation from other, explaining their... I think I read that before, it rings a bell. This is new, though. Grave Warden Pyromancy Tome. They've stitched four stacks of pages together. This looks unreadable. A pyromancy tome of the Grave Warden from the Karthus Catacombs. Give to the Pyromancer Master to learn Black Flame Sorceries. High Lord Wolnir of Karthus succumbed to the Abyss... But the Pyromancer later became a Grave Warden and discovered the Black Flame. The Pyromancer later became a Grave Warden? Hang on. And the Ashes. The old man began as a squire carrying his master's accoutrements. He ended his days a Grave Warden and carried them still. There's a decent chance these refer to the same person. I don't know what to gather from that, but... <laughs> You know, just, I'm just saying this aloud for anyone who thinks I'm not trying to understand the plot. I am. Oh, I'm doing my best. Give Umbral Ash, Grave Warden's Ashes. Gracious. Passing fine ash thou hast given. Let this ash bestow nourishment. I only hope these new wares content thee. <laughs> An Oculus 2, you got to type on your phone. I don't know if I see VR taking off. I don't really. Not until it's like putting on a pair of sunglasses that, you know, have a little bit of extra bulk for headphones or, you, you know, you can use your own wireless until it's that simple. And even then, I'm not certain because I, I, I had my room set up at one point where all I needed to do to use VR was pull the chair out of the way. Put the stuff on, play. And just pulling the chair out of the way, getting a headset on, tightening, no. Rarely would I bother. <laughs> this, I'm sure there are people more motivated than me, but I think that experience is somewhat common. So, adds a bit of a gearhead. Uh, it'll take off when tracking is better. I think tracking is actually quite good. It could certainly get better, but back when the current form of VR was coming out, my brother got an, a, not an index. Is it an index? No. Five? Whatever the first VR headset Valve worked on was. He got one of those. And f the f back then I was like, holy shit, this tracking is great compared to what it used to be, but it could get better. Imagine I'm playing Elden Ring trying to remember most of anything from this game. Seems like a completely new game. Until it can be like Google Glass, not lame. Watch a lot of your videos. Who's Samantha? It's you, Ryder. It's you and everyone here. I say Samantha instead of chat. How you doing, Samantha? Yes, Frida's right. Thank you, Frida. What do you have that's new now? You've got more embers. 
Anything really leap out to me? As new? Keys or anything like that? Heal aid? Oh. The name sounded funny. Raises max HP. I think you had both these before. Oh! Wait, and we don't need the soul for it. Crown of Wolnir, the Karthus Conqueror. Once upon a time, such things were bequeathed judiciously to each of the rightful lords until Wolnir brought them to their knees and ground their crowns to dust. Then the crowns became one and Wolnir, the one high lord. Okay. Am I in front? I am in front of the price. Oh, I'm not. Well, it's it's there. It's 15k. It's a lot. It's more than a level right now. But this is the kind of thing that you see in a store and you're like, come on. Come on. I know it is stupid. I'm supposed to be saving up. I know. No, maybe I won't make rent this month. We got to get this for the party. We've got to. And Johnny Party Seed wouldn't even have that conversation. He'd be on his way to the registers without asking. We have to. We Ashen must. Be sure to bring more souls. I do need to get souls. I just spent a ton. <laughs> it like floats above our head. Nice. Nice. Do I have any more kingly garb to go with this? Probably not, but what have I picked up recently? What haven't I worn much? Fuck it, we're spending money. Anything you sell look particularly cool? Uh, undead legion armor, hell yes. You've got their hat too? Fuck man, this stuff's so expensive. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. I'll buy that in the pants. Ashen I can probably find gloves that look close sure to it. To bring more souls. He is the party king. <laughs> we are rich. We were. Sell feet picks to get more souls. That might have worked for Johnny before we got all weird and like desiccated. I still don't quite understand how that happened. Maybe it's connected with the dark sigil thing that was in um, her menu in the the maidens not maiden in the uh yeah you're right elden ring has blasted my memory for this game which was probably not good to begin with firekeeper in her menu peak of fashion fashion souls actually i kind of like the giant gauntlets let's leave them where they are i've got tomes for you um give pyromancy tome karthus well well I've never seen anything like this. This inscription. This tome is from the catacombs. Trust me, I know. Fascinating. On this day, the teacher. I'm gonna try and block it out like I did in my first playthrough, but right now I can't okay. help but know it's from the catacombs. Did you play Dark Souls one or two? I yes, I played both of them. Give Grave Warden pyromancy tome. I'm afraid I cannot accept this. What? This pyromancy tome is dark and delves into the depths of men where an untouchable flame resides. You know you've been teaching me how to set things on fire. Myself. You know I'm using it on living things, right? It is a spell forbidden in the Great Swamp and nearly everywhere else too. How bad is it? What a place to draw the line. Terribly afflicted or burdened by deep sorrow could begin to understand this. <laughs> Who's gonna take this? Burdened or afflicted by deep sorrow. Well, what do you have from the tome I did give you? Fire orb, bursting fireball, fire surge, great combustion, those are all old. Poison mist is old. Acid surge, I think is new. Yeah, pyromancy of Karthus. Acid which corrodes weapons and armor. This is a PvP thing, isn't it? Karthus' swordsman attached great value to victory and would not shun the use of such pyromancies, for where is the honor in death and scoured bones? Anything to win, huh? Another Karthus, Karthus Beacon. The most obscure pyromancy developed in Karthus of the Sands, damage increases with consecutive attacks. Oh, it's like a blessing for the duration? It's on you, damage increases with, oh. 
Karthus' aggression has been likened to an uncontrollable fire, and since ancient times, this beacon has been used as a signal for war. With Arcestis, I bet that's actually a decent spell. Especially the dual-wielding L1 and, you know, speed bag combo. I bet this is pretty good. He doesn't do the hardcore stuff. Find a hot goth girlfriend for that. Hmm. It's so bad he's not even able to read the words. Hey everybody, hope you're having a good weekend. Thanks so much for the well wishes tree. Hope you're having a good weekend too. Happy Saturday, friend. Hell no, that tome bums me out. Acid Surge is just a new Mountain Dew flavor. Yeah, Johnny would be the one who brings acid to the party. <laughs> I haven't bought it yet. <laughs> Pyromancy of Karthus of the Sands reinforces right weapon with flame. Weapons, uh, Warriors of Karthus favored supplemental pyromancy such as this, which was used to enhance the curved blades of its swordsmen. All cool, I kind of want to buy some of them, but we are poor right now. I could crack open some stuff, but you don't learn pyromancy, do you? Nope. Come again. You... You want to start learning pyromancies? Well, it's not in Braille, so it won't work. Yeah. Have a pleasant journey. Hmm. No clue. I guess we'll just keep our eyes peeled for people. Ah, good, wasn't he? Did I pick up anything I can use with you? Not a lot, Estes. Reinforce. Okay. Uh, repair. Nothing. We're all good. I should upgrade my gear. I'm sure I've got some stuff for that, but I want to start with the Pyromancer's Flame, which I forgot to do last time I was talking to him, so whatever. You can keep us. Nothing new here. Hello there. Speak, I honorable lord. Our lord, and knows thou of a maid named. Oh, hey, this is new dialogue. She is hollow. And will join thee in wedlock. What? A fellow of mine guides her at this moment. Horus? When the time is ripe, thou mayst make thy salutations. I've already met her. Also, Johnny's not one to be tied past. down. Johnny Party Seed, that's who. Aren't arranged marriages usually made by your family, not... A woman you met <laughs> this week? What the hell is this about? Our Lord and Liege. Knows thou of she is hot a fan fool. Alright. Till we meet again. That's not where I expected Henri's thing to go. Henri didn't mention that at all last time I saw her. Does she know? Ah. Huh. I failed to thank you. For helping them find their final resting place. Oh, hey. Wow, that was surprisingly pleasant of you. That usually sucks. <laughs> but he's found a sense I of humor. The sorry souls. Is that really Lordship's last reward? Nah, he's still pretty <laughs> dour. Yuria's a lordly matchmaker? Oh, well, okay, but it's not what I was looking for. Uh, Wolnir wasn't one of the Lords of Cinder, right? St. Aldrich. Lidleth. Holy King Lothric, last hope of his line. Last hope of his line. <laughs> Did he have kids, but none of them seemed too bright? Last hope, not the last. Yorm, no. Oh, uh, let's go back over to Lidleth and see what we can get for Lothric spirits before I forget. Aha, so. Transposition. Crystal Sage Deacons, Stray Demon. Black Serpent Pyromancy. Release undulating black flame that runs along the ground. Discovered from the Abyss by High Lord Wolnir that inspired the black arts of the Grave Wardens. Releases undulating black frames, blah blah blah. Be it sorcery or pyromancy, all techniques that infringe on humanity lead to the same place. That is to say, they all seek a will of their own. Deacons, Greywood, Wolnir his holy sword. A holy sword eroded by the abyss. When Wolnir fell to the abyss, he was gripped by a fear of true darkness and pleaded to the gods for the first time. 
this holy sword together with three armlets stripped from the corpses of clerics. How big were those clerics? Gave him some semblance of comfort. Skill Wrath of the Gods, it's a hell of a name. Thrust weapon into the earth to emit powerful shockwave. The wrath of those swallowed by the abyss is a thing to be wary of indeed. I like the sound of you. What skills do you, um, uh, maybe, but I kind of want this more because it's a pyromancy. Let me think about that a little bit. Only two from Wolnir or any more? All right, two from Wolnir. No, no. Should probably buy the pyromancy. Some children are just disappointments, according to my dad. Oh, not an only child, are you? Man, if only Hot Deli could see that sword. Maybe he grounded all the cleric armulets. Uh, oh, ground them all into one big. He melted them down and forged one. Uh, reinforced pyromancy flame. I can. This provides a noticeable increase to my damage. Good stuff. Do I have the equipment or uh, resources to upgrade ah, my Cestus too? Should I infuse my Cestus? What should I do with my Cestus? We have heavy. Did I make my Cestus raw? Did I do anything to it? Hang on. Oh yeah, I already made it raw, cool. So, I remember what Ra does. We shouldn't worry about anything but upgrading it, which I can't do yet. Pretty be careful. Use up my large Titanite shards already. What shoe size do you guys think Wolnir is? I wonder if Wolnir still has a back half. It was too shadowy to tell. So, we have a pyromancy tome that I can't give to anyone. Um, we spent a whole lot on a crown. <laughs> And we're embered, so I'm at risk of getting invaded when I go back there and go down into the, well, the bridge fell. The warning was on the other side of the bridge. Maybe we won't get invaded. We should be fine. Yeah. That unreadable tome was probably just Hot Deli and Johnny fan fiction. Profuse sweat, fire orb. I sort of want to buy one, one um, fun thing before we leave here. Because we've stuck with Fire Orb a lot. Uh, I... <laughs> what do I want to learn? Acid Surge, like I said, is probably just PvP. Reinforce only the right weapon. I said Karthus Beacon might be good. Do not pick one. Let's buy Karthus Beacon. <laughs> Inventory. I need 8k. How much are you worth? Got 6k now. Uh, do you happen to be worth two? Ideal. <laughs> Ideal. Nice. Do not be gone. Now let's go attune that or whatever the right word is. Do you ever do emotes in front of the firekeeper? Sorry if you consider that a tip. I have not. Attune spell. takes two slots. Fine. I'm loath to give up my ranged option, but I really want to try this. It better be worth two slots. Why can't you use the tome? That guy won't accept it. I don't have any shards, do I? Oh shit, yeah. Kind of forget what those do, but nice. Travel. Back to, we're gonna go back to the, uh, the uh, we're going down in the pit first. Oh, beautiful as the moon is. Yeah, the Pyromancer says it's too dark, but we need to find someone hopeless, sad, downtrodden. And that doesn't describe Johnny. You should try turning on the light. Hate reading the dark too. This is fixed. Should I go back and try getting invaded first? No, I'm gonna get all the skeletons. Why would I try getting invaded anyway? I guess the invasions are unique. It'd be fun to see. But we'll come at it from the other side sometime, I guess. Right now, let's do this.
Only Robert Smith can unravel these tomes. It's looking this way. Are there stairs right here? There are. Let's do this. I'm scared. Here we go. Come here, fucker! Who am I targeting? There's... Why can no one be alone down here? Is it an anxiety thing? How'd I lose targeting? You're fighting him. I do not follow what's happening, but whatever. Damn it, I thought I had that dodge timing just right. I would like to say I'm fucking up some of these dodges because I'm trying really hard to watch my damage and see if I'm getting a ton out of this buff. And I haven't even picked that up yet. I can't tell. I'm getting hit for nothing because I've learned nothing. Okay. Would you like to give me a stray demon soul? Soul of a demon, thank you. Got him. What's up, Stephanie? Good to see you. Glad you can finally catch a stream. Happy Saturday. Hope you're doing well. Love me some demon crotch camera POV. Well, well, you've come to the right stream. Hi there. Hang on. Hang on a second. Do you need to breathe or are you a treasure chest? We're going to wait a little while. Do you breathe? You're a fucking mimic. <laughs> Holy shit, you've got a ton of health. <laughs> I hate this. Stumbled, which is good, because I don't think I rolled in time. Why did I have to laugh when they attack, too? Is this the ending? Thank God it was, because I committed to that fourth hit and couldn't have dodged if they'd not died. Backblade? Did you just give me something called the Backblade or the Black Blade? Can I even find it again? Hello? Smith, am I crazy? Should probably put some of these away. Oh, Black Blade. Katana. A short katana wielded by the swordsman and distinguished guests of High Lord Wolnir. The shiny black blade is thick, but shorter than the typical katana. The swordsman was a master of a rare technique, traces of which can be observed in this weapon's strong attack, which is hold, stance, rapidly execute, lunging slash, or deflecting parry. Intriguing. Intriguing. GG. Ah, I forgot about Mimics. Surprisingly tall. It's Sunday here, then happy Sunday, Dom. Demon vs. Mimic would have been cool. Could have used that Mimic against the Demon, maybe. Bloodstain in front of chest. Are you a Mimic? You used to make them fight. Oh, they will fight? Ah, kind of wish I could have seen that, but whatever. I had no clue. Hang on, you're gonna be getting back up. Are you? I forget if your eyes were, yep. Fucking hell, man. At least they don't all get up at once, but come on. Ah. A 
Okay, and you're getting back up, aren't you? It's hard to keep mental track of who's died and who's died twice. Hey, I can upgrade my Asestus next time I'm in town. I didn't get a chance to see if your eyes glow. They did. They did glow. Is this a no weapon run? We are using the Cestus, which is a fist weapon. That's why it looks like no weapon. Because no, it is definitely not. No, I'm not that skilled. Why you do so much damage? I got the strength for, or no, not strength. I, I changed these to raw. Because I have a weapon on. Fists of the Party King. Fiery fists of rage. Something about these looks like a passage to me, but there's no messages, so I doubt any of them are. I don't want to run around testing all of them. Too impatient. Hello. I should touch you before I go down and grab that item. I don't want to sit down and respawn anything. In case I need to go back, but definitely touch you before I do this. Old Sage's Blindfold and the Witch's Ring. Oh, I didn't read this either. Why is my uh, mouse in the middle of the screen? Hopefully that stays down there in the corner. A ring given to Undead Legion of Farron. Reduces skill FP consumption. Cool. The Abyss Watchers, for their hunting, required a sword technique that went beyond any existing art. Wolf's blood provided just that, and this ring further extends the effect. I remember that being described in something else. Probably one of the items I got from the Abyss Watchers, or, or could buy with their soul. Where's the Witch's Ring I got? Does it now? The Witch of Izalith and her daughters, scorched by the flame of chaos. I'm so excited by the item, I'm giving it more. Scorched by the flame of chaos, taught humans the art of pyromancy and offered them this ring. Greatly boosts pyromancies. Every pyromancer is familiar with the parable that tells of the witches espousing the need to fear the flame and teaching the art of pyromancy to men in hopes they might learn to control it. What does the demon soul give? Um, I think you can trade that to Lilith. We'll, uh, yeah, we'll probably actually go back and check in just a second here. Horus Slander? I missed that. Reminds me of Izalith from DS1. I'm sure it refers to the same place. What am I wearing right now? Shorten casting time. Boost pyromancies. Oh. Allows attunement of additional spells. Recovers HP with successive attacks. Considering the spell I'm using right now, I'm going to cast usually before I get into battle. It lasts a while, it seems. Why don't we boost it twice? Assuming these stack. How'd you die? Okay. Who'd you draw back here? Should I rest? Trying to remember where I came from to get here. I remember. Which does this connect? Oh, I bet this goes to down to the very base of the cave that I saw from above. This looks different. Smoldering Lake. No, this is not what I was thinking of. Hello? We have two areas to investigate? What am I hearing? What the fuck am I hearing? can't see it yet, but it sounds massive. Um... What the f Let's go check out Irithyll! Irithyll seems super cool! What the fucking hell? I gotta find my way around to that giant so I can get a branch that says friend from them or whatever. The one I have is apparently just good for one giant. Well, let's go check out the items we can get. Shit, dude. OMG, it's the area from Dark Souls 1. You could Solaire. Aerithal looks peaceful. Ballista less so. Exactly. Alright. What can I get for the soul of a demon? Hey, everybody, I'm back already. But things are going great. Don't read anything into that. Aha, uh -huh, Dark Souls. 
Crystal Sage, Deacons, Stray Demon, wrong. Ah, Demon's Great Axe. This Great Axe, a favorite among demons, contains the strength of fire. The demons born of chaos harbor fire, and yet they are twisted and malformed, such that they were never meant to be skilled demonic flare. Briefly cause flame within to flare, smash it upon earth and foes. I think I know what attack that was that they used on me. Demon's Fists, a demonic fist that burns with fiery essence. Its wielder can release this power through the use of its skill. When two-handed, fists are equipped to each hand. Flame Whirlwind, spin through opponents with abandon, flaming fists outstretched. We're gonna be Zangief. Using a strong attack while spinning utilizes your momentum to slam the ground with both fists. Good shit. I think we'll probably get this later. I like the sound of it. it takes a lot of strength, but we have it. Oh, but I can't make it raw. So unless I continue leveling strength later. Fuck, man. I'll have to think about that. What skills do you use? You take even more strength. Anything else take the soul of a demon? I feel like I should buy these for fun. I feel that way. Oh yeah, it even scales with int and... I mean, very low, but it even scales with them. Yeah, let's buy demon fists. Good shit. Now, now. Do not... Johnny has so much alcohol in his blood, it lit his fists on fire. I'm not quite sure chemically it works that way. I think it means we should be careful exhaling around our own flaming fists. OMG Havel's ring? Yeah. What happened to your rock throw pyromancy? Uh, that's Elden Ring. I don't have that in this. Reinforce weapon. What does it cost to reinforce the demon's fist? It costs me Titanite scales. Currently, my weapon is... Uh, I could make my weapon 182. This would be a mixed combination of about... What would that be? One... Thir one, one, wait, one, 149, 148. 148 plus 98 was 238 plus 8, 246. 246, but split, so call that more like 200-ish, 190-ish at a guess. That's good. Oh, I did those numbers for one upgrade. That's fine, though. I'll give it that upgrade. Yeah, fuck it. Let's try it out. Upgrade. Upgrade. Nice. For thee, be careful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to see my work squandered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Equip Demon's Fist. Hell yes. Good stuff. Cinnamon Whiskey Fireball King. Johnny sneezes and the shrine explodes. There is one from the souls you got? Oh, cool. We'll probably get it later. Bye, Cestus. It'll probably come back. Just want to take a turn with this. Um... Was there anything else I wanted to do in town? I don't think so. Just came here for that, really, right? Uh, take me back to Irithyll of the Boreal Valley. You think you'll play the Dark Souls 3 mod Arch Thrones when you're done with the base game? Uh, I've never heard of it, so no clue. It's a full overhaul and it's been in development for years, so it's looking really good. Nice. Um, maybe? I would be open to looking at it and considering. No clue if I would play it, because no clue what it has. Need those fiery fists in the Snowlands? Yeah, that's another reason I put them on, is because... If I went down below, that place looked fiery. Probably don't want to bring fire there. This place looks ready for a little flame. This place looks like we'll get a lot out of it. Boom. Where were you? Okay, we better get a lot out of it. Holy shit.
Oh god, like every party you hurt, huh? I dodged! Fucking hell. <laughs> you look like a Tim Burton monster or something. Wait, is my buff already done? Actually, it doesn't last that long, huh? Son of a bitch! I thought that was your stun sound. Oh, one shot him. Easy game. One shot. I've already used so many heals. Pontiff's right eye. Am I calling one shot about a normal enemy? Oh. Recovers HP, boosts attacks as long as attack and persists. Bewitched ring that Pontiff Sullivan bestowed upon his knights boosts attacks as long as attacking persists. Knights who peer into the black orb are lured into battles of death, transformed into frenzied beasts. No wonder the Pontiff only provides these rings to those dispatched to foreign lands. Delightful. Damn, Hydro, that spell kind of sucks. Yeah, I made a mistake of thinking the buff currently up there was the one, and I was like, wow, it lasts a long time. It was, it's not. Shit. That buff is coming from this ring. Should probably tune something different. Hi. Okay. I'm gonna guess that was like their smart home alarm system. They know I'm here. That's like the Dark Souls version of a ring camera. We're not gonna surprise anyone. That's the Witch's Ring, I think. Just finished binging your Tears of the Kingdom Pride stream and I just seen you're live. It's officially Hydro Day. What's up, Cat Tango? Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the VOD. Happy Saturday, friendo. Someone praying with a crown. Someone prostrating themselves, seemingly in prayer. Some kind of religious figure praying. Are there any enemies around here? What's up with this door? Okay, it's just plant life. Disused door? I don't think I'm gathering anything from this fountain. Like, lore-wise. Uh... Can you walk down in that area? Kind of unclear, but I can't get down there from here. I think up the stairs is my only option. Yep, you're not a door. Up the stairs it is. After I check this little alcove, up the stairs. Because you have the doll? That's not a player spirit. What? Hey, okay. Got a long veil on. Hello? You hear me? I heard a noise. I think they're alone. We're going after him. Oh, I don't have it in two hand. I was trying to use the weapon art. I'm gonna kill. <laughs> Holy shit, I just noticed my health. Crap. Should you put your fireball back on? Yeah, I'm going to now. Casper's a lot taller than I remember. <laughs> Never seen anyone kill the dog on the bridge? Really? Do people just run from it or something? I can attune without going back, right? I can attune at any bonfire? Good. Let's change you over to Fire Orb, and let's change you to... Uh, oh, I loved Lightning Spear before. Absolutely. Give me Lightning Spear. Oh, wait. I can't cast Miracles because I don't have... I have the Pyromancy Flame equipped. Of course, of course, of course. My bad. We need pyromancies. Miracle, miracle. Pyromancy, iron flesh. But increases weight. When did I get this? Not advisable for walking in marshlands, perhaps resulting in its obsolescence. The Great Swamp. Quick check, this doesn't make me overweight.
Huh? <laughs> Where's the percentage it tells you? There's a place that shows you percentage. Oh, it's not updating because it only says 69. That can't be right. Oh, that lasts like no time either. These buffs suck. Are you playing this blind? Not technically. I beat this game five, six years ago, DLC and all. But I've just got like no fucking memory, so I don't really remember what it's like. Magic weapon, sorcery, I can't do that. Yeah, man, I don't know what to take. I don't have enough int for this. I'm at 17 right now. Wait. Wait, no, what? I'm not gonna convince it that it's wrong. I must be wrong. Uh, let's just put on great combustion now for now for the hell of it. I thought I had like 19 last time I leveled up or something. No, it's 17. One more level and then we can wield that. Yeah, pseudo blind is right. Profuse sweat. That's probably gonna be, end up being the right thing to do, but this looks like a magical place. I'm guessing magic damage. I'm guessing no debuffs I'll need resistances for. But I am totally ready to be proven wrong and switch immediately. Let's see what happens. Into Smarties, right? Did you know if you jump off the bridge, you won't take fall damage? I doubt you. Knowing Hydra's ability to remember details, pretty much a blind playthrough. Humanity-based attacks. That's what that was, wasn't it? I was out of stamina, and now I'm out of timing. I don't have anything to say about that death. Pretty straightforward. Pretty straightforward death. Enemies are so purdy here, ooh woo. Come on, Hydra, let's get to making some progress. Now, grab this shit. Is he gonna be coming for me or going the other way? The enemy's not coming for me yet. Can you open this thing out of curiosity? That's for later. Here's about what the enemy is on the other side if I'm not fighting them yet. The other one turned too. Oh my god! Oh, you're a lightweight! We just have to get the drop on him! Hell yeah. Dude, that art's fun. Costs a little bit, but fun. Pulling that out of their own throat when they do that. Something's behind me. Damn it. I was holding down, I think, heavy or something. Because I saw that attack coming and I was trying to prepare to dodge, but I was in the middle of something else when it reached me. So this weapon's pretty good. These may be generally low health enemies, but the damage numbers look nice. I like the demon fists. Oh, fuck off, man. The cord hit the mouse. Mouse, go way over here. They're wispy. Train your weapon arts at a bonfire so you can replenish. Train your weapon arts at a bonfire? Aren't weapon arts the things that are on weapons, like that fire spin I did? I need to train them. Do you? Um, these seem different. Let's rush one. They too are light on health. But this isn't too bad. Not bad at all. Budding green blossom. I want to check what that does in case it's for like a debuff they're going to give me. Large temporary boost to stamina recovery speed. 
Oh shit, I have 17k. Why have I not gone and bought a level? There are so many enemies behind you. Well, you want to come to me? You do not. There are so many enemies behind you. Um... Didn't realize I was practically out of FP. I think that's why I didn't get the explosion at the end there. Yeah, come over here. One. Fuck. Fuck! Okay. Johnny just walking into this city, punching everything with fire like a true party animal. We need the authorities to know we're here as soon as possible. Did I not pick up an item over there? That's how people know you're true party animal. You got one-shotted? Look, that wasn't a one-shot. But I probably should have known it was gonna happen. I knew that enemy was there. Johnny Party Seed becomes Catherine Wheel, the firework. Range aside, I do enjoy these Cestus. Getting shot right now. Whoa. And just barely got to pay attention in time. I'll punch a shield, I don't give a shit. Johnny's using flaming boy wrong? Yeah, we haven't, um... We haven't. That guy who was gonna teach us didn't have the patience to deal with us, so we're trying to learn on our own. Doesn't have enough int to spin them, so he just punches everything. That pretty much describes how Johnny interacts with computers as well. Don't want to go after them or hang out back here. Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter. You know what I want to do? I want to see how powerful you are against that tracks. I want to see how you deal with my fire attacks. Timing. I wish that explosion was a little bit bigger. The big guy's nearly dead. All right, big one's down. Less just betting I'll be safe now. Let's figure out where the enemies are. Okay. Now let's get to the next bonfire so I don't have to do that again. Immolation Tinder. Fire Witch Leggings. I'll check them in a second. I really want to get greedy with that last hit, because I could see you winding up. But somehow I thought that my last hit would get the both of them and interrupt that attack. I wasn't even close to them. Rocket Man? To be fair, I should have expected fire, hell, so they stay warm. Hey, oh, come on, dude. There's another one up there. Who would have thought the impossibly high amount of alcohol Johnny has in his blood? Um, from drinking so much Siegbrow at parties would, uh, would work against him. Shit. I need to get up to that fucking enemy. Don't roll through it. The best part about this place is nobody has any poise. Really the only good part. 
two of them. One shield, one non. Um, I wish I was not up here in this little area. But I'll work it out. They don't follow you. Blood. I hit roll. I hit roll for the second one. Night's not going great. I feel like usually I don't die this often. And I think it's gonna be a long, long time. Till the next bonfire brings me around to find. As your boys, you POS. Parents love D&D, so I'm making an Elden Ring campaign for them. I'm so excited for them to play it. That's fucking awesome. I hope the game is fantastic. It's a sweet idea and a cool idea. Yeah, come over here. Maybe I don't have to get your friend, I do. Here they come. I hate when you guys stand together. Thanks for the break so I could fight for a sec. What is this? It's nothing. It's just a delayed attack, which by the way does usually fuck me up. That was a decent strategy. Alright. Two flasks in the first three enemies isn't wondrous. I kind of want to run by everyone. I feel like that's not wise, but I kind of want to run by one. Their run is so scary. Like, why do they run like that? To scare you. Johnny the legend from the mean prank him, John. You think I can get by these without being, like, noticed? Oh, hey, one already noticed me. It's a big ass now. Big ass now. Doesn't mean I don't want to try. So many of them have given up on me when I go a certain distance away. It feels like this might be one of the few places. So many of them. One of them has appeared to give up on me when I got a little ways away. I see, apparently we're going for it. My fingers have decided. Pardon me. Okay, where's your bonfire? That looks like a dead end. Oh, hey, wait, there's a lizard. Can I get it? Shit! <laughs> okay, this is a dead end, right? I need to leave. I need to heal. Hello, everyone. What's over here? Just gotta make quick decisions. There's an item there. I'll come back and get it later. Inside? Hell yes! Progress. Progress. And that wasn't cowardice. That wasn't cowardice. That was just that strange burst of energy that comes, you know, like four or five beers in where you're like, I'm gonna go run around the yard. Who wants to come with me? That wasn't cowardice. Let's go spend our souls before we risk death. Zoomies. Johnny just has the zoomies. I'm new here. What's happening? We're not being a coward. I can tell you that much. Hello. You're just having a sit down? Oh, okay. People are here. It's just this guy's gone. Does that mean the other one is here? The, the annoying asshole up top? I don't see him. Anyway. Welcome home, Ashen One. Hi. Speak thine heart's desire. Happily. Very well. Level up. Then touch the dark Imagine if there was mimic bonfires. It's not cowardice, it's smarts. Oh, I wonder where Johnny got it then. 
pissing off Smokey the Bear. Strategic retreat. Uh, I was getting intelligence. Yes, I was. I believe I may also have the equipment. Well. Oops, sorry, I hit that twice. You don't say anything different now that you're over here, right? Ashen one, to be no. Sovereignless, so I will show thee how. Ashen one. No. Farewell. Ah, tis good, wasn't he? Is Twinkling Titanite what I needed? Or... No, it wasn't. Oh, I needed tw Titanite Scales. I need four Titanite Pretty Scales good. for that thing. Okay. Johnny partied so hard his hands lit on fire. Magic Bonfires would be annoying to experience, but hilarious to watch. What do you think your IRL stats would be? Uh, hopefully medium-high level of charisma. Trying not to be too narcissistic. And then... Alright, I'll give myself a little intelligence. Below average everything else. Actually, I'm lucky to be a healthy person. Average or slightly above average health? Definitely below average wisdom. I'm thinking D&D &D stats, not these stats. Below average, what are the stats? Vigor, attunement, endurance, vitality, strength, dex, intelligence, faith, luck. Okay. Vigor, good vigor. Attunement, I don't know what that means. Endurance, pretty low. I spend all my time streaming or editing videos from the stream. No endurance. I can get winded if I have to jog upstairs for too long. Vitality, uh, that's how much you can wear, or am I thinking endurance? Don't recall. Um, average, strength average, dexterity, below average by a little bit. Intelligence, above average slightly, but we don't have anything like wisdom in this game. Faith, in the floor, negative faith. Luck, am I a lucky person? I don't think I am. I also don't believe in luck, but I don't think I'm a lucky person, apart from the fact I was born into a very good life. That took a lot of luck. But like since then, throughout my life, I don't think I've experienced a ton. Um, We can equip a different uh, thing, by the way, now that we're the right, now that we have enough uh, int. Int, maybe? Hand dex is the thing. It's how much you can wear in uh, Not Elden Ring, where it's endurance. I can now use, yes, exploding. Bursting fireball, that's what I wanted it for. Church of Yorshka. We are going to try coming by at these enemies backwards, because I think generally it's easier to come at enemies backwards. You know, they're set up in such a way that they'll fuck you up when you go the correct way through them. But it means sometimes they're easier going backwards. First things first. Anything in here I should know about? Hello. Quite something ahead. Ew. Why did I pick that up? Blood drained, shrunken ear, souvenir taken for subduing the guilty. The knights called the Blades of the Dark Moon punish the guilt-soaked defenders of the gods and take this as proof of their conquest. The earless corpses of the guilty will be left behind as a warning to others, inspiring both fear and respect for the gods. Such is the eternal mandate of the Dark Sun. This is the Blue Sentinel Covenant? Those are the people that helped me when I got invaded in the catacombs. That's what they do? I guess they're my friends, but Jesus, what company I keep. Alright, there's a way up here, there's a way down here, but we're gonna start by going back out the way I came in. Is this Diablo PvP, right? Remember when you'd have a collection of your friend's ears? <laughs> Bad luck ahead? Good place to start before I build up a lot of souls again. There's nothing here. Maybe if you're come if you come here embered, you get invaded or something. Or maybe by bad luck, they just meant there's nothing. Johnny took lend me an ear way too seriously. 
Don't even listen to music anymore. Just put Hydro VODs on for background noise. My actual fave streamer, you're much too kind. I'm glad you enjoy so much. Thank you so much for the views. I hope you continue to have a good time. Gideon has entered the chat. Internet just straight up had a duh moment for the last 20 minutes. And I'm finally back on. Shit. Sorry. Welcome back. This looks like forward progress. Yeah, we're jumping down the other side of this gate. We have other things to do. We have to clear sort of backwards. Oh, no telling me what the next boss is. No hints, tips, tricks, guidance, even reminders of things I know. Because we are here to watch me forget, fail, die, expire, lose, and generally not do a good job. Hey, uh, come on. How did you see me? Oh, there's three. That's... fucking great. I have no idea what the fire guy is doing right now. I just hope it doesn't kill me while I'm busy. Oh, they're walking. They're walking. They're walking. Please. Please! Like, I can't afford to go after the other one. I have to go after the big one. But they might be far enough apart now that I don't get heard by the other. Shit! Thought I'd totally missed. Fuck you! There's something fiery to my right! God damn it! One. Wrong fucking flask. Come here. You're too tall to backstab, aren't you? Oh, it's a flamethrower. I thought you were going to do the thrust, pick me up and kill me thing. And then this connects to the ledge, I said, looked dangerously like forward progress, right? That goes somewhere forward. This doesn't open from this side. Okay, this will be a shortcut later. Is someone on the stairs chasing me? What did I just think I saw? Hey. Oh. You had to turn this way, didn't you? Please come nearer. I don't want to pull anyone else if you're not alone over there. Fuck it. Put your shield down too soon. You didn't know what Johnny had in store for you. A real goddamn party. Lightning gem, cool. Is this a door? Yeah, it looked like one. Magic clutch ring. I love it when magic comes in clutch. Increase magic attack, but compromises damage absorption. Ring depicting a hand grasping a blue stone. Oh, I know what it is. I've played Skyrim. Increases magic attack, but compromises damage absorption. An old fable in Londor claims that the lure of the clutch ring re uh, reaches out to the crestfallen, who might otherwise be overcome by despair. That sounds risky as fuck. So I shouldn't tell you about the Shurgleblurg. No, you should let me discover the Shurgleblurg all on my own. You know, like, I w I'm, I'm gonna do my best to fight it, but it needs to be a surprise so there's a good chance to blurg the blag out of me completely. We're here to get fucked up. The Ebony Dragon Claw in Dark Souls 3. Too tall to backstab, but not too tall to butt punch. Miss Old Anne Orlando would have looked awesome with Elden Ring level graphics. Um, one of the few things I remembered is, don't you, don't you, well, don't answer this in case I'm wrong, but one of the things I thought I remembered was that you go back to a small part of Anne Orlando in this game. Clearly you make it sound like we don't. We shall see in time. I know where I am. I think I got all the rest of the items back there and don't have to go any further back and get in more trouble. I think we did that. 
good shit. Uh, not been down there, right? I don't remember that headstone. And you can get down there. There's a drop off up there. There is probably something behind this. Let's take a peek. There is not. Oh, wonder how you get that item. You drop from above. So we go this way. Appraisal zero. You know what? I noticed it on my own, but for other players, I'll give you that. Wait, this just drops down to the ledge I was already on. This doesn't help me. Where am I going? Oh yeah, I have other ways to progress through that church I found the bonfire in. We go back there, probably. One last quick check, there isn't like a lever or something to play with over here. Yeah, I guess we go back through the church. That item description makes me think that you'll find the person that can give you the book too. Who knows, we played the fifth. Great stream, man, I gotta play this game. I would recommend it. It's fucking frustrating, but if you have some patience or if you're just a particularly skilled gamer, I think Dark Souls 3 is highly enjoyable. I'm having a good time playing it again. Since when do you stream on YouTube? I've been doing it for a handful of months. Probably more than six months now. I don't think quite a year. Anyway, you can find all the past streams under the live tab on this channel. I generally stream only on Sundays here, but last Sunday I could not stream as I was in Maine. And next Sunday I can't stream as I will be in Maine. So we're doing a bonus stream today. To make up for a little of that, I will also be doing the normal stream tomorrow. So I'll be back here tomorrow, 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time. I did it. What did you do? Visions of Lift. Okay. Is this a shortcut back later? I think this is a shortcut later or something. I, um... I doubt I can do anything there right now. Hit the other staircase. Oi, I'm a mainer? Hell yeah, what's up, Wyatt? How you doing? How's Maine? Hope you're enjoying yourself, friendo. Pine tree straight, bro? Fuck yeah. Lobsters, moose, the whole nine yards. I really enjoy Maine. Maine's, you know, a quiet, fair, rural state in many ways. <laughs> Did that word make sense? Rural. Rural. And so, you know, growing up there, I knew a number of people who were like, I can't wait to get out of the state, go to the big city or someplace cool or whatever. I've always loved Maine. I moved to New York City to have more chance to do comedy. Still love Maine. Check Dark Moon Knights? Oh, the online play item. A roster of knights of the Dark Moon who have served since the age of the old royals, used to discover the names of Dark Moon Knights, an order of elite knights shrouded in shadows. Okay. Out of curiosity. I didn't touch this because I was afraid of respawning enemies, but we're probably not going back. We're going on. Might as well get back Estes Flasks. And what's the name of this bonfire? Church of Yorshka. Church of Yorshka. One more time. This mentioned the... No, it didn't. Sorry. There's the Blue Sentinels and the Dark Moon Knights. Who have had items show up in this place. For a second, I thought both items mentioned the same faction because my memory's crap. And I wanted to know what church it was in case it was important later to know. Oh, this faction loves this church. Hey. But I was just wrong over uh, all around. Vince, it's at least February. It's around when I discovered you. Might have to. Gamer, yes. Skilled, no. Not at all. Same. <laughs> Visions of do you even lift? Subhydro, what's up, Isaac? Good to see you. Hope you're doing well, friend. About where in Maine did you live? I lived in Cape Elizabeth, just outside of Portland. So, Portland area. Southern Maine. Hello there. You can't fool me. You have glowing eyes. It does not suit hiding. That one looks bigger over there. High hole in Bethel has pretty good cookies usually. Rusty Lantern in Bethel has kind of cheap pizza, 15 or 16 large. Hell yeah, I'm also in Maine, mid coast. Fuck yeah, Hank. 
Hope things are going well in mid-coast main friend out. Please tell me you're alone. And then suck on this. That did not do quite as much as I hoped for, but it wasn't bad. That was way better. I love the spin and it's great it knocks them down, but I wish it did a teensy, nice, teensy bit more damage for its cost. Or that the explosion was just bigger and caught more people. But it's not bad. Uh, most importantly, it's fun. <laughs> you ever done stand-up? Yes. I did sketch comedy in college. Then after college, I went back to Maine and, um, at least at the time, there was only one dedicated to comedy open mic. There were many, you know, music and poetry. And there were many that were like, oh, you can do whatever you want. Music, poetry, comedy. Comedy doesn't generally get the best reception there. You know, it's a weird change of gears. Those dogs have very human looking skulls. I probably don't need the items in that direction. All right, we'll go face them. So, I would only go to that one open mic. Oh, sorry, I, I think I skipped a part. When I went back to Maine, I didn't have any friends to do, like, sketch with. So I switched to doing stand-up. But there were limited opportunities with the open mic thing I was just talking about to do stand-up. So I moved to New York City to have a chance to do more. And like I said, I'm comfy in New York City. I was comfy in Maine, and Cape Elizabeth, where I grew up, is rural compared to some places, but it's a suburb. So I was happy in a suburban area. I'm happy here in New York City. I went to college out in the middle of fucking nowhere, and I was happy there. I don't know where I belong. <laughs> Just been sort of comfy everywhere. Lived in towns for most of my life. Literally on the exact opposite side of the country, I'm in San Diego. I've never... No, I have been to San Diego. I've been to La Jolla nearby, and I, I went and viewed UCSD when I was looking at colleges. I want to know what this person wrote. Oh, you can just run up here. Praise the left. All right, fine. I'll give that to you. San Diego seems super cool. Back from making lettuce wraps, what did I miss? Sounds like we missed the lettuce wraps. Hope they were delicious. I haven't really traveled around Maine much, mostly because I don't have a driver's license yet. Fair. Fair, 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 and it is very hard to get around Maine without a driver's license. Kinda wish I had my torch ready. Would it be weird to have my torch out and a fiery fist out? Why don't these cast more light? Jesus, I've got so many fiery things! Samantha, I have a torch. I have a shield. I have a pyromancer's flame, and only now, while showing you the list of flaming things I have, did I realize the reason my other fist weapon never showed up is because I have to switch to two-handing not switch through my left-handed items. Anyway. It's cool, although the 98 degrees daily isn't. Those dogs have very human skulls, it's a brand new sentence. Fire fists are a treat against dog, it seems. You live in Mid-South Louisiana. I've never been there. I love the sort of idea of the bayou, though. At least I've seen in movies. Hope you're doing well in Louisiana. Wish I had a chin like Johnny? Same. Leno wishes he could. He only achieves half as much incredible masculinity as this. I saw all those spirits down there and I don't really want to go back to... I oh, don't really want to find out what's waiting for me. What's in these barrels? Nothing? Great. Stairs right down there. Are they coming this way? I think they are. This is exactly why I wish the explosion was bigger. Hello, everyone. Wait, you're all on the ground. What are these Albinorc ghosts? Why can't I use my weapon art? I think that hit like two. Fuck, man. Oh! That's it, I'm fire orbing. No, we have the exploding fireball now. Even better. I assume. Where's my pyrancy flame? Get fucked. Ideal. Really? Great. Right? Yeah, 
one of you standing up. That's rare in these parts. And armed. I see a standing one over there. That looks like a crawling one, crawling one, standing one. Standing one. Get our torch back out for a bit. Sort of an emotional support torch. I, I feel better holding it even if I don't need it to see the enemies. Whatever the damage that ground effect is, it's a lot of it. It's unpleasant. Looks a little thirsty, judging by how dry he looks. Hydro stand-up stream would love to see. I had some decent jokes, but like, look, there's a reason I'm streaming. I enjoy it more, but I did enjoy stand-up. I think I'm also slightly better at streaming. My point being, I think you'd get less out of me. Ugh if I just did some of my stand-up jokes for you. Also, I haven't actually done them in years since before all the lockdowns. I haven't gone back and tried stand-up since things reopened and whatnot a year or two ago. Be pretty out of practice. I wonder how they'd work on Twitch, you know? Just trying to do them without, like, immediate crowd feedback. I'd have to find a place to do, a sh like, a show and live stream that for you so I have a crowd live, too. Wanna use up here? I don't like that. I'm going to go around this way and hope to come at you straight on. That seems safer to me. I see a soul farm. Oh, uh, we're talking about Louisiana here? Yes. Hot but nice. Bugs are awful, but I do love the beauty of it at certain times of the year. Brief though they may be. When the local flowers bloom and the green takes hold, chef's kiss. That sounds delightful. Hi from Slovenia. Not for long since nearly 3 a.m. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well, Urban. Hello from New York City. You have a favored subject for jokes. Um, not a particular one. I did tell some jokes about video games, because I play a lot of them. Told some jokes about my life and things because I come from Maine, and not everyone in New York City knows what that's like, so you gotta introduce yourself to people. Tell them why you are the way you are. But no, I hadn't, I hadn't like developed a type 5 around a particular subject, or even a particularly strong voice. How about that airplane food, am I right? How does he come up with these premises? Oh, you're a natural. Oh, it's a jump. I don't want to jump. I want to be able to undo anything I do. Was there another way out of here? Does this jump just take me down to the same place I'd walk out a door to here? Also, hi from Germany. Hey, how are you doing? Guten Abend. Right? Because I know it's night. It's the wee hours of the morning in Germany. Probably. But you only say Gute Nacht as a goodbye, right? You don't say it as like, hey, good evening. Guten Abend. Wie geht's? Are there any videos of you doing stand-up? I don't think there are. I did take one or two, but I think I don't know where they are. Wait, so, where would the jump have taken me down to? And are those guys still coming? They are. I should kill you before you sneak up behind me without me really realizing how close you are. When I went to the rafters and looked down, where was I looking at? The whole shape of this doesn't make sense to me. Hang on. I just like vaguely connecting things in my head and having a guess what the side path and main path are, and I'm losing it. I wish a chef would kiss me. Do you ever get hackled? No. I did a handful of shows for real audiences, but a lot of what I did were um, open mics. And open mics are largely other comics and their friends hanging out. And so, you know, even if they don't like you, they know it takes some... Oh, I was behind a little thing. I get it. They know it takes a little bravery to get out there, and hopefully you're working on it. They're kind. Is there a way to get up the other side? Maybe. Who knows? Oh, I know where I am now. That's where I first entered. That's where I was cruelly surprised by a giant Tim Burton monster. 
It's all coming together. We're all going down to the river. Hidden path ahead. Hmm. Hey. Go into the corner. These things basically always run away from you, so you can guide them to the corner. Good message. Oh, hey, that's it. Worthwhile. Was that a loon? Hey! What the hell was that cry? Did you do that? I think a loon was on my mind because we were talking about Maine, by the way. I think that's why that reference came out. Quest for the Lost Comedy Tapes. We all know watercolor painting is your purest art form, Burton Dog. Frubs off buildings always feel like a TARDIS to me. My sense of direction is that of a goldfish. I agree. Yeah, when that alligator rat dog tried to sneak you. Rolling on the river. Take up face painting, you already have experience. True. That's my fallback. Streaming doesn't work out, we'll professionally face paint. I'm gonna go after you first. I'm gonna go after you first because you cast spells and I don't want that to persist. Seems to be it. Blood gem. They give you a lot of gems in this game. I guess it makes sense, you know? They'd be wary of monster? Oh. I imagine I'm not seeing all that has to offer from this vantage point and due to that water. Okay. They give you a lot of gems, which I guess makes sense, because if only one or two gems are useful to you, they have to give you several of those, otherwise you get one ever. And given there are lots of gems, they've got to give several of each. They give out a ton of gems. This looks frighteningly like a boss arena or something because it's so big. Nice, and it slows you. Good. I think I'd rather take on whatever this is first. Nice. Comfort noise. That was vaguely haunting. That was one crazy loon. No matter how many times I play this game, that scream always gives me chills. Oh, wait, are you, you look, what? Where's the living one? Are you moving? You are moving, you're the living one. Oh, I don't like what you are. <laughs> Get away. Hate it. Ring of Sacrifice. Oh. Samantha, I'm arachnophobic, but it takes some very specific things to, like, trigger me. You know? Like Shelob in Lord of the Rings doesn't bother me because Shelob, the way Shelob moves and sort of expresses, it's not really realistic. That might be the first thing that looks nothing like a spider, but vaguely has, but it triggers my... I hated that. It's beautiful in its own way. Get out. <laughs> Nightmare slain. Oh God, that's awful. Mom, you do not recognize the bodies in the water. Uh, I see an item over there, which looks sort of vaguely towards the middle, which makes it even more worrisome. I think we'll work our way around the right side to that. I feel like on the left side, things might jump off the wall at me. Okay. I see another one over there. The one that attacked me wasn't sticking out of the water much. Those two look way more noticeable. What's back here? Really? Yeah, looks like they're right. Did I hear an SCP reference? Uh, only accidentally. I am aware of the, uh, what is it, Secure Containment Protocol website? 
haven't read much of it or anything. Life finds a way, I guess. Um, now, if that came out of the TV instead of Sadako, she'll have a certain heaviness and not the type of quick jitteriness that spiders actually have. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, you seem to be dead. You're probably alive. Took a sec to find where I could hit you. Oh, thank God you take tons of damage from these fist weapons. Thank God. They're spindly, so... Makes sense they're not a high health enemy, but... You never be sure. You're dead dead, right? Maggot priest thing? Great heal. Cool. Um, yeah, so like, Shelob doesn't bother me in the first Hobbit movie. Those spiders, they kind of bother me. They're not the worst, but first of all, you see their face up close and personal. It's talking, and its mouth is moving along with English words. That helps, but you see them much more up close and clear for longer periods. But even more so, the ones that aren't talking, that are just going up and down trees in the background, those ones move much more like spiders do. Skyrim, the spiders and that. If you look closely at them, their carapace gives them angry eyebrows, which is kind of silly. And so pictures of them, I'm kind of like, eh, it doesn't bother me too bad. But they've got big mandibles, visible hair, and they run at your face in the game. So when I've played Skyrim, I have modded them out. There's a lot of very specific triggers or not. Did you ever watch Harry Potter and the spiders they have? Yes. Aragog and its family, they are the worst. Fuck them. I cannot stand them. Elder Scrolls V spiders look so angry. Yeah. You brought some scary memories? Sorry. Alright, it looks like I have two directions to go over here. What's this? Sleep talk ahead? That's the second time I've seen sleep talk mentioned. Those are player messages. Sleep talk. What is sleep talk about? I'm not on that side of TikTok. Do you guys just see me go like this? I have um one of those little. Can I raise this up? It's kind of all wrapped in other things. One of these little cable ties on the cord of my controller, and um. It it brushed the back of my finger for a second there, and just because we've been talking about spiders, I was like, Get the fuck off. Harry Potter game is even worse spiders. Delightful. Ever played Fallout 4? If so, what about the Rad Scorpions? I have. Um, medium bad. They don't, like, trigger me terribly. I can play the game, but I like to kill them quick. I don't love zooming in on their beady eyes, but they're not that bad. Yeah, I don't love scorpions, but despite scorpions being arachnids, not that bad. All right, so we've got... In the water and out of the water. I think we take our lumps and we continue through the in the water section first. I don't want to, but I think it's what we do. You kind of a monster crush on some spider-esque characters? Really? Hey, more power to you. You know? We're not going to enjoy the same artwork, but more power to you. Let me take a guess. I can't remember her name, but... The spider from Undertale. Is this too personal? Should I not guess the spiders you're, you're, you have crush on? Ah! Oh, you spit things too? You are just a delight. I want to try fire out on you. It's pretty strong. Pretty strong. I wonder if these things' faces have mandibles like a spider does. I'm glad I can't see them and their bodies disappear when they die. But I can't help the curiosity. There's like a ton in here. No, they don't have faces. I just saw that pretty clearly. I think that's better? One, two, three, four in that direction. Three behind a fence. You're probably alive. There you are. Come at me, bro.
You guys remind me of a gaping dragon from Dark Souls 1. Oh good, that's all the loot down here. What a good place I chose to come to. Fuck out of here. Are there truly three over there? It looks like it. Uh, let, yeah. Come at me. Let's get you before they wake up. You're not coming at me. Circle around, circle around, circle around. Oh, hey there. There's nothing beyond that. Hey there! We'll do that in a moment. We have to do this first. Two dead, I can go in and melee the last one. Now, why are you all gathered here? Are you guarding something? Did I go over here for nothing? Okay. They seem like their name is Jessica. Okay. I feel like <laughs> you're throwing some shade at Jessica's there. Oh, hello. Oh, lovely. Wait, we found these in the swamp. They give you back Estus, right? No, they heal you, so I shouldn't have drank my Estus. Couldn't I have dipped the thing in there? Uh, we're not playing a smart character, it's fine. I got it backwards. Muffet is one? Fucking nailed it. Did you ever play Grounded, and if so, what did you think about those spiders? I have not played Grounded. I like those kind of games okay. They're not usually like my absolute favorites. So there's no sort of reason I would have played it or avoided it. I admit the spiders may have driven me away a little. Anyway, for, for whatever reasons, I have not played it. I'm aware. Time for Spouse. Is Henri back here? This is the second time spouses have come up. Oh, you're just being sexist as hell. Gotcha. Maybe I should go check the other direction first? We're gonna continue this way, though. Be wary of up, and then be wary of enemy. Is the chandelier my enemy? Where is this? Hello? Hello? This looks really nice. Should we be in here yet? Where's the enemy? There's a knight over there. And he's staring at one particular part, I would imagine, of a portrait of that woman from Dark Souls 1. Wow. You know, the worst part of pointing that out is because one of the themes on this channel is I have no memory, and yet clearly I remember her. Oh, why is that? Let's go kill him. Hey there. You have a bow. I bet that's a bow. Oh god, I remember these enemies from Dark Souls 1. Yeah, that probably is a bow that shoots giant spears. You knocked me off of Van Orlando a lot, didn't you? Oh, how do I deal with this situation? <laughs> Her beautiful eyes. Joe, I wish, wish I lived in your beautiful chaste world. Amazing chest ahead, excellent chest ahead. How did the Dark Souls messages get into... Samantha here. I don't have that plug-in. I kind of want to find a way up to fight that that enemy before fighting this one. Or maybe I can drag this enemy down here. Behind? Oh, I know, but I can't, like, do anything about it. My fireball won't reach up there. Hmm. I think we just fight you while we're getting fucking shot. Alright, you guys have amazing... I hear it. Amazing poise, don't you? Because of your huge fucking armor. Where'd that lightning come from? 
What that lightning do? Do decent damage to them. You're not dead. I don't do decent damage. Thanks for the shield. Let's go get the buddy now. There must be stairs somewhere around here. How about that timing? There aren't stairs. Wait, this doesn't connect to the other side. Oh, yes, it does. Wait, double wait. Wait again. Do you have friends here? You do. Just the one, seemingly. Come here. I'm here. Hey. Come here. You fuck. Grounded has an arachnophobia mode. I've seen, it's like a slider. It's like it removes the eyes and mandibles. It removes more detail, it removes the legs. Eventually they're just floating orbs, yeah? I, I love that idea, I think it is good. I sort of wonder if it would work because I think they still sort of like bounce and bob and hiss. <laughs> Tell, correct me if I'm wrong. They still make like hissy, evil fantasy spider noises, right? And I played Skyrim with an arachnophobia mod, like I mentioned. That was too early. The arachnophobia mod, I installed it wrong the first time, but it has a failsafe where it replaces the spider mesh with foxes. So when I got to the spiders, they were foxes. But they used spider animation, well, they had no animations. So imagine that first giant spider being a giant fox, T-posing, and just descending and sliding along the floor, but it still hisses. Not nearly as bad as a spider. Still weird. That makes me worry that the grounded slider might still be a bit off-putting, but it's, it's probably way better. Nearsighted knight, throw a pebble at him. Oh, I always forget I have pebbles. Spider ladies remind me of the kindred of rot, automatically my least fave. That's a very good point. I hate the Kindreds of Rot. You have a sword too, you fuck? I thought you were going to be the one that I had an easy time with. At least I get a free backstab on you. I took a bet I was going to stumble him in the middle there, which is not a smart bet, but clearly it worked out. Clearly it was okay. That went better than expected? It did. We are down to only two heals and no... Um, what are they called? Ash and Estus flasks, however. Liar? Hmm? What are you pointing at? You're pointing down? I fear a mimic. Can I, is there any way I can see all three of them so I don't, so. Because I don't want to bore anyone, but on the other hand, I don't want to get bit by a mimic ever again. Oh, thank you, spirit. Okay, that last one's safe. Would you like to open the other two now, spirit? None of them are moving. I think we're good. No mimicry ahead. Okay. Divine blessing. Bite them back. Smo's great hammer, really? Leo ring. God damn. First of all, what's a divine blessing? Nice. Fully restores HP and cures ailment. Holy water blessed by the queen of Lothric. Fully restores HP and cures ailments. The Queen of Lothric, married to the former King Osiris, 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 was initially revered as a goddess of fertility and bounty. After giving birth to Ocelot, her youngest, she quietly disappeared. Metal Gear is even more complex than I thought. It connects to this world? I need to look at the other items. Smo's hammer? Oh yeah, and I got these earlier. Are these the weapons those big guys had? Profaned flame wielded by the Erythelian witches, frigid spirits roaming the boreal valley. This torch, both a weapon and a staff, is enshrouded in an everlasting flame. Skill punitive flame punish foes of the flame that blankets the ground. 
Um, when they say both a weapon and a staff, I expect this means I can cast... Yeah, I see spell buff. So this is both a weapon and you can cast sorceries with it. Stop forgetting what you opened to check. Smo's hammer. Twisted Great Hammer associated with Smo, the last knight to remain at his post, guarding the ruined cathedral. Restore HP while attacking, a carryover from Smo's past as an executioner. Skill Perseverance, anchor weapon in Earth to temporarily boost poise. Damage reduced while activated. So I found Smo's Great Hammer here. Those knights I called out as being from Anne Orlando. That, we don't need to look at her portrait again. Lady was in or Anne Orlando, right? So I'm in Anne Orlando. Or something awful happened to Anne Orlando. It happens regularly to kingdoms in this game, in these games. And whatever kingdom this is, Lothric, based on the other item I picked up, they got all of Anne Orlando's stuff cheap. Oh, I've got Frostbite! They bought all of Anne Orlando's stuff at, like, an estate sale. <laughs> Smo's hammer looks like a bongo. You want a tip for finding out if a chest is a mimic? No, I'm good. Hopefully I'll figure it out. Maybe I should just try hitting all of them? Yeah, why haven't I tried that? I should just try hitting all of them. Try that next time. I can get frostbite when you're literally smoldering? That's what I want to know, but the game is quick to just give me frostbite when I ask. Anne Orlando fanboys? <laughs> Yeah, it's not even from the estate sale. Anne Orlando's doing fine. This kingdom just looks up to Anne Orlando, it buys replica of all its stuff. Anne Orlando finds it pretty cringe, honestly. This is like that castle in Germany that was built a lot more recently than it looks like, and it's got sliding glass doors and stuff. Slightly cringe. Anne Orlando at home. Like it's a brand, like West Elm sells a series of Anne Orlando at home. This might be the first joke we've got three good bits for. Good shit, Samantha. The Anne Orlando collection. Honey, these end tables are beautiful and I love the throws you got. Why all the knights in our home, though? I don't feel safe. Available at Target. Anne Orlando condos. <laughs> Walmart version of Anne Orlando shaking my head. Oh man. At some point I've got to go back and check out that other thing in the fucking river. I thought, uh, hey there. Failed the target! I thought this would be the sort of side area I should, damn it, investigate first. Who just shot me? Did this dog spit magic? No, it didn't. There's someone else here. Who's shooting me? Hello. Oh, you're like completely invisible from too far away. There's another. Hang on, I want this item before I go up there. Fuck off, man. Where were you hiding? There's two. My health is critical. Do I hear yet another behind me? I think that was just its death throws. Yeah. Shit. This uh, statue. I think I looked down on here from above before. That doesn't help me at all. I just, I'm recognizing. I see two casters. God knows how many dogs are hiding around here. I thought SMH meant so much hate. So did my friend Tino. No, it's shaking my head. Proof Dark Souls 1 is the only real Dark Souls worth its salt. Guards so bad they're distracted by the decor. <laughs> the one looking at the painting. This summer, Anne Orlando Big Sales. What can men do in the face? I'm shaking my head. Health at risk, Toyota's Anne Orlando thon. <laughs> Anyone back here? Yep, there's a fucking dog. I was right to take a guess. Now let's go after a caster. Let's take another check for dogs. Let's get our stamina and go after a caster. You gotta take them in turns, you know? One, then the other, one, then the other. 
All right, do I have a second to like wait? Seemingly yes. Cool. Does this go on up here or is the elevator behind me? It does go on up here. Hello? Nothing? What do you say? Tough enemy? We'll try the elevator. Shortcut ahead? Nice. This must go back to the gate I saw. Yes? Nothing under it. Yes? No? Where is this? Oh, hello. Okay, I know where I am. There are lots of dangerous enemies around here. What do I want to do? What do I want to do? What do I want to do? I think I want to run by the dangerous enemies, get back to the bonfire. Um, spend some fucking souls, get my heals back, then probably go back down to the river and check out the other directions, since apparently I found the correct way to progress. I'd like to do the side thing first. So, wish me luck. Oh good, they're back at the altar. We're fine. Never mind, Samantha, no need for luck. We're good. This place has a dangerous definition of shortcut. What is FromSoft's deal with making you kill puppies? Dogs are a common enemy. Back to Firelink real quick. What a nerve-wracking shortcut. Zoomies time, run. To be fair, they're abominations. <laughs> yeah, P puppies was an interesting word for you to choose. Abominations is closer. Um, 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 first things first. Do I have what it takes to upgrade my Pyromancy's Flame? Actually, I'm using my f Demon Fist uh, way more at the moment. Me. Do I have what I need to... Itchy nose. Reinforce? No. Reinforce my weapon? No. Where do you get Titanite Scales, motherfucker? Pretty be careful, I don't... <laughs> Pyromancer's Flame? Ah, uh, they... I... <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Make me stronger. We're up to Titanite chunks with this thing. Any pyromancies I want to learn while I'm rich briefly? Reinforce right weapon with flame. We'll save that. I don't need that right now, obviously. I don't think I need any of these right now. Do not be gone. Thank you. They're not well, dogs. I'll say this for Sekiro, the thud of a shuriken hitting a dog is so much more satisfying than killing them in other FromSoft games. I'm glad you're enjoying, but what a sentence to read. Um, 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 um. Wasn't there something else I was gonna do? No, I think I'm fooling myself. Don't know what I'm thinking of. Uh, level up! <laughs> wait, 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 I'm carrying so much. Welcome level up. What does Heal the Dark Sigil take again? Oh, right. We'll save that. I don't even know what it means. Then touch the darkness within me. Take nourishment from these sovereignless. Did I make Taki fried chicken or lasagna for dinner? Between those two, two I would choose lasagna, but I am a very picky eater. So maybe I'm not the best to weigh in here. All right, gets our intelligence to 20. Two, two, another three. Yeah, give me some more faith, I guess. Sure, just evenly leveling intelligence and faith. Should I get some health? My health is doing okay. Should I get some stamina? Stamina goes up so slowly, it never feels good to level. But right now, my damage is good. Like, it's a time I could afford to invest in something else. What's attunement do? FP. Does attunement increase my attunement slots? Not within three levels. I can check help though. It does. Yeah, we should probably get attunement someday. Someday. Yeah, fuck it, let's get it now. Two attunement as well, please. Farewell, Ashen One. May the flames guide thee. 
How do you have the exact same build that you had on your first playthrough? Great minds think alike and all that. Or if you don't think I'm playing very well, you should worry about yourself. Finish my crossword, G fucking G. Crosswords are great. I love crosswords. I used to do them all the time with my mom when I was living at home. She's a crossword fiend. I definitely got an undead bone shard, so let's burn that. So... Pomegranates. What does the bone shard do and what does the Estus flask shard do? They both affect your, like one is how many flasks you have and the other is how strong, right? Which is which, or am I wrong? What do those two things do? Really good, but damn, the powder loves my nose and eyes. Ugh. No, sorry, not leave. I hit that button too many times. Let's go back to the church and down to the river. Down to the river, and into the river we dive. Going to bed, wish me luck on my wonderful seven hour drive. Have a good rest of your stream. Thanks for hanging out, Aiden. Sleep well, sweet dreams. Get a lot of rest before your drive. I hope you drive safe. The journey goes quickly, smoothly, easily. Have a good one, friendo. Build got me through most of the game, so honestly, you're a genius. It's the first time I've heard that, and I'm happy to. Flask shard is quantity, bone shard is quality. Thank you. So, shard is the plus. Cool, 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 cool. Bone shards, how much you heal, Estus shard increases uses. I need some more Estus shards. Oh, I guess we have nine. Pretty good. Essels three. Bone stronger, Estus number. Shard increases health you heal. Shard upgrades flask usage. Ice cream break time? Fuck yeah. Um, can I afford to run by all these people? You know, I feel like this game has much more painful leash distances, or in some cases doesn't have any, compared to like Elden Ring. So running past enemies is slightly less useful, but I'm just going to do that right now. I'm just going to do that and hope it works out. Just going. Fuck. It's already gone wrong. That hurt a lot. Oh yeah, and I can't run in the river. I hope this game has leash distances. Actually, we can stay on land for a while. Am I still being chased? Oh. Either I got lucky or this game has kinder leashing distance in than I thought. No horse either? God, I missed that legend torrent. So we came back here because I saw this before, but I didn't go down in it, and I'm hoping it's a little side area. Oh, there's a bonfire. Well, maybe it's not a side area. Secret ahead. I'm not appraising you. I'm not. I want to appraise you negative, but... I think someone once told me, even if you praise them negative, they get something out of it. I won't do it. Huh, it's dark. Quite something ahead. Yeah, this is a whole area. You guys are programmed to run away from me? Why? Ah! That's fucking why you're bait. This is more hits. Uh. You know what? I wouldn't change anything, actually. I would still go for that last hit to finish that big one off. Even though I couldn't get out of the way after that. If you don't want to attack, I gave you a second while I got stamina. That's 
on you. Stamina. I should have bought stamina instead of FP. Keep fucking it up right now. Slip up ahead? What do you mean? Slip up ahead? Oh, <laughs> is that for the greasy area of the floor? No horses, much better bosses. Love the use of spin. Only thing I don't miss when playing this is the Elden Ring lobsters that can literally shoot and hit you from halfway across the map. I'm from Maine, I have to enjoy the lobsters, what can I say? They're, they're monstrous lobsters. But I'm, uh, you know, the Tourism Board Bureau would come after me if I didn't. I don't think there's anything down here. Yeah, this is really a whole other direction. A second bonfire. Irithil Dungeon. Motherfucker. So many options, all of them bad. Oh boy. Where was the other place? What was the other place we were just at? Not Snowfield, that's DLC. Distant Manor? Was that the last one? What is what is that what does that bonfire look like again? Actually, the further ahead thing in this other direction would be to go to the church and then down the... This is where I just fucking was. Yeah, it would be to go to the church, down the elevator. What was at the bottom? Where, where was the bottom of the elevator? Oh, yeah. The dogs and the invisible guys shooting me and up the stairs there to a tough enemy. I like the sound of that better than a dungeon. You know what I like better than the sound of both of those things? Why don't we kick that can down the road to tomorrow? Let's, let's break there. We're gonna wrap up there, Samantha. I need some energy for tomorrow and I've got some video editing and a little unwinding to do this evening. But thank you so much for hanging out. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed the stream. Have a wonderful day, night, you know, whatever time it is, wherever you are, have a good time zone. Like I just said, I will be back tomorrow at 6 p.m. US Eastern, right on this channel picking up Dark Souls 3 from this point, and we will go through the place I just described. Uh, this coming week, I am going to be on Twitch playing Tears of the Kingdom, maybe something else, but probably Tears of the Kingdom both days. Tuesday and Wednesday at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. Let me give you the link over there. If you'd like to see that. But Thursday morning, I'm getting a plane to Maine and we'll be there through the weekend, so there's no Dark Souls 3 next weekend. Before the vacation, we've just got tomorrow, Tuesday and Wednesday. Also, I've got Discord if you'd like to be there. You're welcome to come chat, you're welcome to come just lurk. It'll notify you when streams are going live. There's Nightbot, okay, it just took a second. Um, 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 um. Let me give you some background music while I chit chat. Is there anything else I need to say? Not really. Okay, take care. You're all just fantastic. You know, you've shown a lot of improvement this semester. Don't do the teacher, like, student review joke. You do that so much, Hydro. You do that so much. I need to come up with a list of bits. Stream end bits. A really long one, so people don't remember when I cycle through them how recently I've done some. Sincerely, thank you so much for hanging out. I hope I see you tomorrow or this week on Twitch or at some point in the future. But even if this is the only live stream you ever catch, it was delightful having you. Yeah, to, uh, thanks for the generosity, those of you that gave. But since thank you so much, everyone who just hung out here and watched. That's the most important thing. Um, because I love attention. I start the semester soon. Don't remind me. Sorry. Can't wait for the stand-up bid. I did not promise. Did I say bid instead of vid a second ago. Whatever. Night Hydro, Night Savvy, thanks for hanging out. You're the fantastic one. Oh, thank you, Keanu Reeves. All right, later, folks. Have a good one.